It's time for Mount Vernon Rams baseball on WMIX on your radio at AM 940 and online at WMIXsports.com. Rams baseball is presented by the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams, Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Mount Vernon Rams on WMIX are also sponsored in part by Ren Lake College. See how you can save thousands on your education at rlc.edu. The Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto, Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, Raising a Hospital, Raising the Bar, Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, and also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Sarah Staley, your country financial agent, Heartland Accounting, and by Central Christian Church. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios for Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. Rams pregame show starts now. And we welcome you into Brendan Clyde Memorial Field on a chilly third Wednesday afternoon. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside for your Landers Collisions in their spring game show. Today, the 9-4 and four Mount Vernon Rams welcome the 1-4-1 one, and one West Frankfurt Redbirds. So glad to have you with us. You can follow us on Twitter and stay up to date at WMIX Sports, but also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. Landers Collision Centers didn't just expand in Mount Vernon, they expanded their service. After your next collision, ask about free detailing as long as you own your car, big or small. Landers fixes them all. One triple eight. Landers. The Rams nine and four got a shutout win yesterday on the road at Marion. Of course, Brock Wilkerson went the distance, got the complete game shutout. Jake Pike had a three run bomb over the left field fence. As a result, the Rams improved to two and all in the South seven nine and four overall. They have a West Frankfurt team, of course, they played every year since Frankfurt's departure from the South Seven Conference. Frankfurt, of course, comes in one four and one. Their lone win is over a tough Goreville team in Class One A and. You take a look at these two teams. Danny Frankfurt's kind of been struggling for a few years in, in many sports, but they're trying to make that rebound, and this could be a game that would give them a little bit of momentum if they could come away with a win today. Well, for Frankfurt, after losing yesterday, the Heron in conference play, they're looking to get something going. They have conference play again tomorrow against their arch rival, the Benton Rangers. So it might be a look past game for them. Maybe they're in it, maybe they're not for this one. Drive up, you know, 57 to here. But, again, this is one of those deals where – if you're Frankfurt, you're playing a bigger 3A school, be a nice feather your cap, you get a win. Get a win, indeed. Of course, we need to slip out for a quick break on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. When we come back, we'll talk more about the Mountain and Rams and even preview this matchup between the Mountain and Rams and the Frankfurt Redbirds. Big or small, Landers Collision Center's fixes and now details them all. Premium detailing is now available at Landers Collision Centers. Call any time you need them, one eight 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 landers That's one triple eight landers We'll take that break. This is Rams Baseball from WIX Sports. I'm Kevin Snyder with a look at your next rad weather. For the afternoon, it will be sunny to partly cloudy, high of 54, then becoming mostly cloudy tonight, low 33. A rather cloudy day tomorrow, some rain not far to the south, high of 53, and a low tomorrow night of 33, then a warmer day Friday, turning out mostly sunny, high 63, sunshine and clouds for Saturday, high 68. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. How does 0% financing for up to 84 months sound on many Ram 1500 trucks? Hi, Roy Schmidt, Dodge dealer at King City Chrysler Center, Mount Vernon. I thought that sounded great, but could not believe it when I saw 0% plus $3,250 in customer cash on 2013 Ram 1500 quad cabs, big horns, and express models in two-wheel and four-wheel drive. Finance through Ally Financial and save some massive money on the 2013 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. We have plenty of Rams to choose from, but don't wait. You do not want to miss out on the performance of the 2013 Dodge Ram. Come talk to us about 0% financing plus $3,250 cash back through Ally Financial at King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or browse our inventory online at kingcitychrysler.com. You can count on us. Yes, you can. 
Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. Find us on Facebook under WMIX Sports. Back to the Rams on WMIX. Hey, welcome you back to your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Landers Collision Centers can fix that small fender bender or major collision on any size vehicle, and they now detail it too. Bigger small Landers fixes and details them all. One triple eight Landers. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski. Avery Barton is back in our Malvern studio today as the Rams welcome the West Frankfurt Redbirds. One four and one on the year are the Redbirds. Nine and four are the Rams. Of course, the Rams carrying a two and all perfect South Seven Conference mark. They will. Weather permitting, put that on the line tomorrow on the road at Carbondale. But today, it's the Rams and the Redbirds. Should be a great matchup. Of course, Rams coming off a nice game at Marion yesterday, winning 6 to nothing. Of course, they did split a doubleheader against East Peoria on Saturday. But all that aside, great baseball play thus far in 2013 by the Mount Vernon Rams. Well, off to a good start. Conference has gone well to begin with. Another conference game on the road in Jackson County tomorrow. A Route 13 game against the Carbondale Terriers. And then, of course, Belleville East on Friday. Tough stretch of the week, but even though it's cold, it's dry, so you get some games in this week. Get some games in. We're getting one in today. And speaking of which, the West Frankfurt Redbirds, of course, the visitors today. We need to meet your Central Christian Church batting order. Incredible things are happening at Central Christian Church of Mount Vernon. Look no further than the newcentral.com. Watch their Friday night and Sunday services online. It's the newcentral.com, Central Christian Church, loving God and loving people. Of course, let's meet the Redbirds. Leading off in center field, Garrett Karofsky batting second and short, Noah Jerome. Braxton Cole is the catcher, batting third. Hannah Hancock is at first base, batting fourth. Jacob Bartoni is the DH in the five hole, and Anthony Dunning in left field, batting sixth. Evan Keller is second. Ethan Sisk is at third base, batting eighth. Chase McLaren in right field, batting nine for the Redbirds of West Frankfurt High School. There you go. We're going to get started early this afternoon. First pitch on the way from the starting pitcher, Trevor Float is going to miss it tonight. To the left-handed, Garrett Karaski He is out there in center field today for the Rams defensively. Clayton Reeves is in left. Landon Thomas out in center. Jake Pike in right. The 1-0 pitch is coming inside. 2-0 to Karaski Third to first is Sawyer Harrison, Matthew Williams, Hayden Vanensky, Colton Metter. Your catcher today, Colin Young. Going to get back out there on the hill today is Trevor Floden. It'll probably be a pitch-by-committee situation. as the 2-0. Veers inside. Three balls and no strikes. The hitter's count that started off with Garrett Karaski Drone and Lowell to follow. You'll see a committee today and Friday with a non-conference look. Three O's coming right down the middle, and that'll be a strike. Three balls, one strike. Karaski gets it started. Rams baseball is powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. With five Jefferson County branches, that's more than anyone else. Community First Bank is at home with Malford and Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Welcome back to personal banking. As a three or all on one, it's going to be roped into right field. Pike's going to give it a dive. Can't come up with it. That'll be a layoff single for Karaski. Ball was biting down toward him. Pulled hook. Basically, what it was from the left-handed hitter who had that hump-back harp hit. Pike made a diving attempt, couldn't come up with it. WMIX and WMIXSports.com, we're glad to be with you today. Thank those of you who have taken the time to join us thus far. The Rams and the Redbirds, just in our way, got started a little early, at about 422 unofficially. And here comes the first pitch to a right-handed bat. That's going to be hit the opposite way, right into the mid. A full better at first base. We'll have a double play chance, but we'll get a three unassisted. Right off the handle. The ouch. Didn't sound good, didn't look good, definitely didn't feel good there for Mr. Drone as he makes the right turn to the first base dugout. So one pitch for Noah Drone, and he is retired. He'll bring up Braxton Lowell, I believe it is. Lowell? Hi, Colt. What you said on the lineup card, I looked at the roster below. So two different spellings, but we're going to go with the lineup card. Here it comes. First pitch to Cole, he swung on a miss, and it's nothing to want. So I'll make sure I'm not nuts. I am not. Well... There we go. That's debatable. Certifiably insane. Maybe that's huge. <laughs> Nothing in one is the count to Cole, the catcher, with a runner on first and one out the top of the first. Scoreless thus far as the count becomes even on the 0-1 pitch in the dirt. One ball, one strike to Cole with Hancock on deck, barring a double play. Flip side of this, too. Mount Vernon in this game, a sandwich game between the conference games. Got to keep your head up in this one. And the one one's right down the middle to Cole. Falls behind now. One ball and two strikes. We'll try to get you some scores from around the area today. Some action going on. Mr. Consistency out on the hill for Mount Vernon today. Threw well against Ducoin and Peor- East Peoria. 
Let's see what happens on the one, two. There it is, right down the middle. That will be a backwards skate. Two outs on the board now. As Flotus did a nice job yep. of rebounding after the leadoff single. Wind basically blowing in from right center. Basically from right center, right field into the third base dugout. So not real sure people are going to be able to hit one unless you smoke one out the center field, right center or left center field that the wind carries. And that will bring in the right-hander Hunter Hancock with a runner on first to two down here. Stop half the first inning, no scores. We'll check on the runner Karaski at first base. We're in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square. The all-new Lincoln MKZ. Check it out at Ford Square. Probably the largest selection in southern Illinois. Find their selection online at FordSquare.com. Lead off at first. Here comes the pitch down the middle. And will be nothing at one to Hancock. Of course, Karaski got aboard with the leadoff single. Since then, we've had a line out. Soft liner to first base and a backwards K. Two outs to the board here in the top of the first. Blow down to the stretch. The right-hander will fire the 0-1. This is going to be Fox foul over the first base. Oh. Ooh, almost got the moving vehicle. Moving vehicle coming in and drops somebody off. Fox took one in the hood windshield there. It come close. No damage. Thank goodness for that. No balls. Two strikes, two outs. Top half of the scoreless first. Loda trying to get the Rams out of the inning. Here comes a waste pitch high. One or two. Runner Karaski trying to play games at first base, trying to get ahead of the pitcher Flota. Back at it tomorrow, allegedly, according to the schedule, but Mom Nature may have other ideas as the Rams will travel to Carbondale as a 1 2 pitch is high and away to the right handed Hancock, 2 and 2. Friday, Belva Lease comes to town. So, the Lancers will be here on Friday. Fifth of April, I believe. Two two coming. Hit the opposite way. Could be in foul territory. It's going to be out of the reach of Colts better. And it'll keep the count the same. Two balls and two strikes. Impressive performance on the bump yesterday for Brock Fulkerson through 103 pitches. And a complete game shutout. Rams beat Marion yesterday six to nothing. Lady Rams unfortunately did not have the same fate. They settled the Lady Cats nine to six. They were down nine to two at one point and then battled back, but just ran out of time. Right handed Hancock stands back in. Two two is the count with two outs to run our board. Pitch on the way. Fouled straight back. Oh, thank goodness. Two and two at stays. Yeah. Sorry about our friend. Yeah, it just pulled in. It'll be tough. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on first base. Goes high again and misses. Three balls, two strikes. The count is full with Bartoni, the DH, on deck. For the Redbirds in the top of the first inning. It's a 1 4 and 1 Frankfurt Redbirds and your 9 and 4 Mountford and Rams. Full count on the batter, Hancock. Here comes the pitch, and he is going to lace this in the left field. Reeves will turn around to take an alternate angle and make the grab. So there go the Redbirds as they strand a runner here in the first. Through a half inning, it's no score. This is Rance Baseball, powered by Community First Bank. With two new hospitals, trusted physicians, and dedicated staff, it's clear that our local health care industry is helping to make our community stronger every day. Hi, I'm Terry Prosize, a commercial lender and health care banking specialist at Community First Bank. I'm putting over 20 years of health care and business experience to work for our medical community and local businesses. Whether you have an expanding physician practice, an existing business, or hoping to start a new business, I have the financial prescription for you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Right now, you can get a 2013 Chevy Equinox for as low as 0% APR financing at Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. Or choose a generous factory rebate. The hot-selling Equinox gets 32 miles per gallon, and Schmidt Chevrolet has the biggest selection in the region. Customer satisfaction is their number one goal. Now is the perfect time to buy. Nobody offers you more for your trade than Schmidt Chevrolet. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Back to Rams baseball, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back to WMIX, WMIXSports.com's coverage of Mount Vernon Rams baseball. We head to the bottom half of the first inning. We need to meet the Mount Vernon Rams batting order. Matthew Williams, Landon Thomas, Colin Young in the first third. Colton Metter will bat fourth in the cleanup spot followed by Trevor Floyd and Jake Pike. In your final three will be Clayton Reeves, Sawyer Harrison, and Hayden Paninsky. There you go. Discover the excitement at Central Christian Church in Mount Vernon. They offer exciting worship experiences, packed with energy, relevant teaching, and awesome programming for children and youth. Log on to thenewcentral.com for service times and more information. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski, Avery Bart, back at our Mount Vernon studio today. We haven't traveled far. Out here at the Friendly Con Fox, Brennan Klein Memorial Field. It'll be a lefty on the hill today for West Frankfurt. Christian Dunning gets the start. Cole's the catcher. Sisk Drone, Keller Hancock from third to first. Anthony Dunning will get the start in the left. Walker Roski's out center in McLaren. 
is your right fielder for the Redbirds. They are wearing all whites today with red trim. Brought to you by uh, Kane or Tide. That all white stuff, man, those pants take a beating. Rams, of course, in their friendly grays, at least on the bottom. They have the black tops with orange trim. And we'll get underway with bottom of the first inning action here in just a moment. This will be Williams, Thomas, and Young to get us going. Rams baseball is powered by Community First Bank with five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to personal banking. Member FDIC. So a right-hander, Williams, who took a spike to the toe on Saturday, came back and played yesterday, had a pretty good day defensively. He'll lead it off for the Rams. He'll play golf at Red Lake College, of course, in the fall. See how he fares against the left-handed pitcher, Christian Dunning, making the start today for the 1-4-1 one, one, West Frankfurt Redbirts. Here comes the pitch. It sails high and away to the right-hander, 1-0. Or Frankfurt, as they prefer to be called, Frankfurt Community High School out of West Frankfurt. We'll remember the South 7 Conference left in 93 as the 1-0 is going to miss high again, 2-0. Been in the River-to-River River Ohio division ever since. Yep, 20 years. It's hard to believe it's been that long as the 2-0 comes. It comes inside. That's a great pitch. Two balls and a strike now to Williams. The Ohio designed, I guess, to be the bigger schools. The Mississippi was actually the larger river, has the smaller schools as the 2-0, or make that the 2-1 comes inside. Three balls and one strike to Williams. And a lot of people argue that the River to River is more like two separate conferences anyway. It almost might as well be as the 3 1 will be fouled off. Look out in the parking lot. And the count's full, three balls and two strikes. Not a lot of interleague play, I guess, or interdivisional play, especially in football. Especially in football. 3 2 coming, going to miss high, and that'll be a leadoff block to Matthew Williams. Of course, the. River to River was more of a merger of the schools that felt they were too small to compete in the South 7 Conference and most of the Southwestern Egyptian Conference. Yep, Carlisle was part of the Southwestern Egyptian Conference and got out and went to Cahokia Conference. And they have two divisions based on rivers as well. Here comes the first pitch to land at Thomas. Ground ball to second. Keller's going to pick it up, scoops over to second for one. They will not get Thomas at first, so that'll be 4-6. Kaskaskia and Mississippi Division, yes. I believe, at the Cahokia. Like the Mississippi is more of, Kaskaski is more of the New Athens type of schools, Red Bud and the like, Steelville, and then the, Cas- the Mississippi Division is more or less the Columbia Freeburg bigger schools. Oh, well, when you think about it, they did it right. Mississippi, of course, the larger river. Runner on first and one out here in the bottom half of the inning. Here comes Colin Young, take the first pitch strike. Mississippi Division basically was by location not naming Murfreesboro, but the Ohio Division is based on where the schools are at, located closer to that particular area. Gotcha. And they're going to check on the runner, Thomas, the first base. The throw will get away. Thomas will head to second. And we'll put a runner in scoring position now for Colin Young. He has an 0-1 count on him here in the bottom half of the scoreless first inning. The lead one. First base with a handcuff. Looks like he's trying to catch with the outside of the mitt to the inside. Ball bounced off his glove. And Landon Thomas goes to second on the air. Ohio, Frankfurt, Benton, Massac, Harrisburg, Murfreesboro, and Heron, all those closer allegedly to the Ohio, size-wise as well. The 0-1 coming, that's going to miss high, one ball, one strike. Massac was independent before. Massac was independent. Wow. Down there by the river hanging out. Try to decide which state to be in. 1-1 one, one the count with a runner on second here in the first. One out. It's going to be a ground ball to short. Thomas is going. Here comes the throw from Drone over to first base, and 6-3 will be your second out. But about. Well, it was a great play by Thomas. He had to react quickly on that, knowing it going second or third on that type of play is very dangerous, especially the ball going to the right of the shortstop. So with two outs and a runner on third base, so to bring in Colts. Matter still an RBI chance here, even with two outs. Colton did have a single and a run scored yesterday against Marion. Here comes the first pitch to Colton. He'll foul it off to the backstop, and there'll be nothing in one that matter. Catcher almost caught that one. It's Mr. Fish Sandwich chases that foul ball back here by the backstop. The Dookie. Blue Devil fan. Nothing in one is the count. Trevor Foda on deck here for the Rams. Two outs in the first. Here comes the pitch on the way. This one will be sent sky high, but it'll be second base side, and it'll fall for a base hit and a run scores. The pitcher bailed out on the play, the second baseman. Keller tried to come up and get it, and as a result, it'll be an RBI single. Yeah, that's a good 
That's the reason why he hustled down the base pass That's regardless. A 40 foot signal. Oh, heavens. So, the runner on and a one nothing lead. The Rams count their blessings here. As Trevor Floater, the right hander, will step in to face Christian Dunning, the left hander. And Metter will get a marginal lead off the of first base here in the bottom half of the one nothing first inning. Rams on top. Pitch on the way from Dunning. It will miss high. Well, it takes the ball outside. 1 0. We're on the Twitterverse. You can follow us there at WMIX Sports. We're online, WMIXSports.com, where you can find archive broadcasts of all of our broadcasts over the past couple of years or so. As the 1 0 pitch will evolve into 1 and 1 across the inside corner. Pike to follow here, barring the final out here in the first. Sunny skies. It's a beautiful day. It's just a little chilly here under the overhang as the 1 1 comes. That's going to be parked foul to the parking lot. 1 and 2. Allegedly 52 degrees. The wind's out of the east at 9. I'll believe that. I will definitely believe that. So a slight lead off the first base for Metter. Dunning will fire. The pitch is going to miss outside. It'll be a 2-2 even count down to flow. The pike on deck for the Rams. They've scored first here. As Thomas took second base on the air, took third on another ground out, then a, should have been an easy play. Ends up as an RBI single for Metter. It's the 2-2 pitch. Misses high and outside to the right-handed float. The count's now worked full. Three balls, two strikes with two outs and a runner on first base. The Rams try and add to this one nothing lead by keeping the inning going. Mike had a three-run shot yesterday. It's close. It's going to hit a ground ball to second. Keller will pick it up, and he will fire to first. And that's going to do the Rams here. Through one, a one nothing lead. Mount Vernon on top. This is Rams baseball from WMIX Sports. Tax time means savings time. Use that tax refund at Second Chance Auto to purchase the best quality used vehicle around. In fact, in their 32-year history, the selection has never been better at Second Chance Auto. Clean, dependable, and great-looking cars, trucks, minivans, and a huge selection of small, mid-size, and full-size SUVs. Most priced under $10,000 with three-month or 3,000-mile warranty. Yes, your tax refund is your ticket to the vehicle you've always wanted. At Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. It's back. Red Lake College Golf Outlet's Super Demo Day on Saturday, April 6th. Major manufacturers reps will be on hand to answer any questions about your favorite equipment. Plus, free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag. Come test the latest and greatest equipment and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks at Super Demo Day. One day only, Saturday, April 6th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Listen to us from any device at WMIXSports.com. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. And we head to the bot- excuse me, the top of the second inning. It's a one nothing Ram lead. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside for Rams Baseball against West Frankfurt. The Frankfurt Redbirds will send up Jacob Bartoni, Anthony Dunning, and Evan Keller. Here in this top half of the second inning, the Rams got a run on a high pop fly that did not escape the infield by Cole Sutter. And as a result, the Rams take a one nothing lead. Here comes the first pitch from Flo to the inning, and that is going to be a strike. Big zone today. Nice to see. So far from the home plate umpire. Wins out of the east today. Of course, that always makes things interesting here at BK. As the next pitch, we bowled past Bartoni. Nothing in two. Wins out of the west. Pretty well ho-hum. The wins out of the east kind of shake things up around here as the one one's coming. That's two, wasn't it? No, it's three. Well, he called the first one a strike. That's what I thought. So yeah. Good. That's back. Morning, good day. afternoon, good night. Don't pay attention to the scoreboard. You go one out here in the second inning, a one nothing lead for the Rams. Anthony Dunning, the left fielder, will stand in. There's that win. Here it comes. That's going to be a strike across the outside corner of the right-handed bat. Dunning falls behind nothing to one here. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams on WMIX. We'll tell you more about them after the 0-1 pitch. That's going to miss outside. One ball, one strike down to Dunning. It's a pitcher kind of day. Everybody's got a good arm day to win blowing in like this. And we can't have cold fingers with the iPad. Is this going to be a 1-1 pitch outside corner? One ball, two strike. Can't have dry fingers either. It's got to be able to feel that oil in the skin to move things has around. To feel your, your touch. As the 1 2 will scoot outside to the right handed bat. Two balls, two strikes to Dunning. Familiar faces, new places. Community First Bank continues to expand. Now, five locations all in Jefferson County. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Here comes the 2 2. That is going to be laced toward right. Pike on the run will make the fundamental grab, and that's a good play by Pike. 
Well, obviously, he, he out there in right field today can play as can Landon Thomas can play a little closer because it's going to be hard for somebody to either push or pull one over their heads in right center and field today. So base is empty and two outs here in the second for Keller. He'll plant one foul behind us, and it'll be nothing to want to Keller to start off in the at-bat. We'll look for a Lake College play of the game a little bit later on today. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu to find out how. Oh, one pitch going to come Ooh, inside. Knuckle curve. <laughs> that was a knuckle curve, folks. Was it really? That was, yeah. You see the seams of the baseball weren't moving. I could see the seams. <laughs> oh, it's through. Here it comes. And that's going to miss outside. One ball and two strikes. Quota has two strikeouts today, both of the backwards variety. As Cole and Bartoni will both start looking. One, two coming, two outs. Right there again. Look at the side foul. We'll have to ask uh, Mr. Blue Devil about that. That's a knuckleball. He's got phenomenal arm movement on that. I mean, to get to throw that and to still show the same arm motion as you would a fastball is amazing at this level. He's got that down. We didn't see that pitch the other day against East Peoria. Let's see what happens on the 1-2. On to something. This is going to be fouled off over the first base dugout. Count remains one ball, two strikes, two gone here in the second. A one nothing Rams lead. The difference thus far has been Landon Thomas crossing the plate courtesy of Colt Metter. Back just a half inning to go. Trevor Florida gets set and will fire on the one two. This is going to be put in the left center. Nope, it's not going to escape the infield as the wind knocks it down. Good play by Matthew Williams on the run. And that'll do us through one and a half innings. It's one nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball from WIX Sports. Spring is here, and just about everyone wants to be more mobile. Stop by TMS Mobility, a division of the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, for all your mobility product needs. They carry a large selection of scooters, wheelchairs, and so much more. Best of all, you can rent them by the day, week, or month. The staff at TMS Mobility can take care of billing your insurance, too. TMS also carries a large selection of vehicle lifts for your scooter. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We service a 60-mile radius area. It's a pretty wide area. We service orders from several area hospitals. And we have the staff in place that really sets us apart. We have three respiratory therapists and two seating specialists to help with seating on wheelchair and power chair needs. And we just feel that we have the staff and the warehousing and the facilities in place to really set us apart from any of our competitors in the area. TMS Mobility, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. You're listening to Rams Baseball, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back to Brennan Klein Memorial Field as we head to the home half of the second inning in your WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square. It'll be Pike, Reeves, and Harrison for the Rams who look to add to their 1-0 lead. Great job by the Rams and Trevor Floater to shut Frankfurt down in the top half of the second. Yeah. And Trevor was very efficient and throws a lot of strikes. And for him on a day like today, pitch to contact, wind blowing in, you're not going to give up any bombs. Have at it. I mean, throw some strikes and be around the plate. Not going to get hurt by that. So Jake Pike displayed some power yesterday as he hit one about 300 feet down the line and got himself a three-run home run. Bases are empty. Of course, it's he'll lead off the second. one nothing. Rams on top. One run on one hit thus far. No runs on one hit for the Redbirds. The Redbirds do have an error. Michael stand in. It'll be a lefty-lefty matchup. Christian Dunning, the pitcher, and this one's going to be ripped foul down the first baseline. Nothing to one. Hanging fast on the inside. Pike got those hands well out in front. So Pike will dig back into the box. The left-handed bat, the right fielder for the Rams. Dunning's offering coming. Slowed it down that time. Pike a little quickly on it. Fouls it down the first baseline. Again, nothing in two. Easy down there. Ginger at that back in the first box <laughs> there. We can't have that going on. No balls. Two strikes to Pike. Base is empty as he leads us off here in the bottom of the second inning. 0-2 offering. This will be sent foul directly behind us. And the count remains the same. Credit Pike for really trying to work this fast. Wouldn't loved to buy a vehicle with credit approval right over the phone. You can at Second Chance Auto. Call 244-4582 and find out if you're approved without ever leaving your home. As Pike's going to set a foul ball over the third base dugout out this time. Keeps the count nothing to two. Of course, Second Chance Auto has the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles in one location, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. One of our boosters in Rams baseball. Oh, two still the count on Pike. Nobody on, nobody out. He gets it started. He'll take one high. And finally, it's one and two. 
when he fell off. Four straight? Yeah. In a variety of places. <laughs> Sprinkling them around. Here comes. They try to get him inside. It'll be a ground ball and some issues there for the first baseman. And Pike's going to be safe as he just hopped right on over the glove. May have got a piece of the Hancock glove. I don't think it got anything. I think it just was there and wasn't there. Took a wicked hop. Yes. So Pike gets aboard first base to start things off, and that'll bring in Clayton Reeves, the left fielder for the Rams, in the bottom of the second inning, still on top, one to nothing. You can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're also online at WMIXSports.com. Dunning, the left hander, going to check over on the runner at first base. You can see it coming. Pretty obvious. If I can figure it out, it's blatantly obvious. Going to come home this time, as you can see his move, kind of get a feel for it as Reeves is going to put one in the left field. Dunning, Anthony Dunning will make the grab. Pike will have to retreat. And there's one out. Not going to get much today in the outfield. You get one up there, may as well go to the dugout because wind's going to knock it down and you're not going to get much out there unless you get in a line drive somewhere. That'll bring in Sawyer Harrison with one out and a runner aboard here in the home half of the second inning. Don't forget All-Stars and Stitches and other of our Rams booster sponsors. We'll tell you about Big Dave and All-Stars here in just a moment. One on, one out. They're going to check on the runner first. Saw it coming again. Big Dave at All-Stars and Stitches says if you can put a logo on it, they can probably print it. See Big Dave and the All-Stars and Stitches gang just west of Benton High School or call 435-5555. Pitch going. So is the runner. And here's the throw to second. Not in time. Jake Pike steals the base. Ready for warm. Well, last year at this time, everything was green growing and mowed twice. and Right now, everything's still trying to stay closed and dormant with this cold weather. 52, but it feels so much chillier. That's going to be a check swing foul ball down the first baseline for the bat of Sawyer Harrison. The count's now one and one Does have an RBI chance to Pike was able to swipe second base here in this bottom of the second inning. Still a one nothing ball game. Don't forget to find us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash WMAX Sports. 1-1 the count. Here comes the pitch on the way. and ooh, Good pitch by Dunning. It's 1-2. Yep. Called a strike. Napped it right off. Little twelve to six curveball. So one and two is your count. Bottom half of the second inning, a one nothing Uh-oh. lead, and on first move at Pike was going. He could be safe at third, and he is. They threw down the second base to try to pick off Pike. He was going on first move, but you can see he goes right on down to third base. He was uh, going on first left, got picked off, <laughs> and he was lucky that he outran the throw from second base. So a runner on third and one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Harrison will. So we get a curveball coming inside. The count stays one ball, two strikes. Do you have a scoreboard update? In high school softball, the Central Annies lead Salem after one, two to one. Annies, of course, were last year's South Seven Conference champions, went to a sectional final. Tony Will brings you that scoreboard update, of course. Tony, for, would love to handle all of your insurance needs. Find him in his office. Look for him online at TonyWilt.com, or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. That's Tony Will get to a better state with State Farm. Of course, we have a break in the action now, and that break in the action is presented by the Medicine Shop, Eric Black and his staff. Pride themselves in making customer service their top priority at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, Mount Vernon, 2339 Broadway. Oh, it's Wes Frankfurt, coach with the infielders, getting together. A nice long conversation going on. The umpire's now in on it. And it looks to me like we're going to have a pitching change. Maybe a blister of some sort. Guess we're going to find out. So it's a 1 2 count on the batter, Sawyer Harrison, the Ram third baseman. Just one out in the bottom of the second inning. It's a 1 0 ball game as the Rams took the lead on an RBI single by Colt Metter back in the first. Since then, been pretty quiet outside of a pike base hit. Of course, he's been able to make his way all the way around the third base here in this home half. We'll see who your next new West Frankfurt pitcher is going to be in just a moment. As it looks like. Could be the first baseman, Hancock. No. That's 16, not 19. Hancock looks like he's headed out to right field. I suppose we're going to find out as we figure out the numbers as we go around the bases here in just a moment. So there'll be some warm-up tosses, and it has to be something of sort for him to come out of the game this early, or 
Maybe just coach didn't see something he liked, but he kind of get the feeling that there was something more to it. I think they were looking at his fingers, probably a blister. Cold Bay like this, the highest theme. Um, obviously, now it would be interesting to see if he gets the full warm-up time because the coach really never signaled to the umpire, I'm going to talk about injury. So I'd be curious to see if he gets more than this eight allotted pitches or if they're just going to go with eight and let him go. So your new West Frankfurt pitcher will be number six, Garrett Karaski. Comes in from center field. Your old pitcher, Dunning, will now go to first base. And while he warms up, we're going to go ahead and take a one-minute break. This is Rance Baseball from WIX Sports. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois welcomes Dr. Beth Conrarty to their medical staff. Dr. Conrarty specializes in comprehensive pain management using a multidisciplinary team approach by working with other specialists for optimal diagnosis and treatment of pain. Dr. Conrarty will treat most conditions of the spine, including management of cancer pain. Dr. Beth Conrarty, helping to make life better day after day at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois in Mount Vernon. Call 618 242 3778. Welcome back to Personal Banking is more than our tagline at Community First Bank. It's the truth. From our five locations in Jefferson County, the debit cards tied to local schools that we offer, the dozens of scholarships we provide to local youth, and even our president who sits at the front door. The Community First Bank difference is apparent. Our mission as Jefferson County's premier community bank is to provide the best customer service around. Stop by one of our five locations and experience true personal banking. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal housing lender. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back in the bottom half of the second inning. West Frankfurt pitching change as we will see Garrett Karaski come in from center field. McLaren will slide over to center. Hancock the first baseman goes to right. So what becomes the pitcher Dunny? Well, he moves to first base. And nobody comes in. Nobody comes out. They just kind of shuffle some things around the old yard. If I saw things correctly. So we're going to go with at the moment anyway. Runner on third base for the Rams, the one-two count on the batter. Sawyer Harrison was that one out. Karaski's going to come out of the stretch. Here comes, and that's going to miss outside the count, even now to Sawyer, two and two. <laughs> Rams baseball presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Two-two count on the batter, Harrison. Here comes the pitch on the way. He's going to send that into right. Could be trouble for the new right fielder. That's going to be down the line in a fair ball. One run will come in to score, and Harrison's going to head down to second on his horse with an RBI double. Nice little piece of hitting. Went the other way. RBI opportunity there for Mr. Harris. That does close the book on Dunning, at least. And that'll bring in Hayden Paninski. RBI chance for Hayden here in the second. It's a 2 nothing Ram lead on the RBI double by Sawyer Harrison. Continues to hit the ball well. So now Karaski will get set. Looks back at the runner. Here comes the fire. That's going to miss high and away to Penesky. One ball, no strikes. Your community, your choice, your bank. With five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs, Pretty First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember FDIC as the 1-0 comes well inside. Two balls, no strikes to hate with Matthew Williams. Looking to get the Ram lineup started for a second time as he stands on deck. Runner on second, the 2-0 pitch coming. That is going to be sent. Wynn's going to catch it in center. It's going to take it a little bit towards left center field, and that's going to be a nice grab stretching away from it. Was well, McLaren going to third base is Harrison, and so there you go. Yeah, a little advancement there. Deep enough fly ball. The center fielder going back with his right shoulder back toward the fence would have to catch it, come back forward towards the infield, and that was a good base running there by Mr. Harrison. So it's 2 nothing Rams on top, and that'll bring in Matthew Williams. Walked his last time without via the fielder's choice back in the first. Stands in with an RBI chance, two outs. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, nice pitch on the outside corner for Karaski. It's nothing to one. Get you updated on some more scores here in just a moment. Don't forget, we'll look for a Red Lake College player of the game in this one. Find them online at rlc.edu. Oh, one coming. This is going to be sent towards right center. And it's going to continue to slice for a base hit. Another run comes in to score. I don't know. That one looks like it's going to hang up for a while. Well, that one looked totally different the way he reacted. I mean, that ball just all of a sudden started darting into the wind. Had a cut wind, a right-hand hitter, and he hit a cut ball. Should have knocked it down instead of carried. 
RBI single for Williams makes it three to nothing. Now for on top lane, and Thomas will step in. Runner on first base, two outs here in the second, and he will send one through the right side of the infield. Williams is probably going to be told to stay put at second base, and that is a good move there. Two on and two outs now for the Rams. They're looking to keep some bingo going here in the second. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. Chris Hugo with Danny Terwinski alongside on WMIX Mount Vernon, a free service from Weathers Broadcasting. If you're tuned in for the 94 News at 5, you'll have to flip over to 94.1 FM for the news today with Jim Dallaveras. The right-handed bat, of course, Colin Young will stand in with two on and two out here in the second. Graski's going to fire back to second base to check on the runner, and there's nothing doing. The wind, as we get close longer into the evening, starting to pick up considerably, don't we, right in the ballpark? Yes, it is. It is nasty. Here it comes. Ooh, curveball. Not going to flutter it anyway, and it's going to be nothing to one on the outside corner to the right hander, Young. No balls, one strike, two on, two out here in the second inning. The Rams have a three to nothing lead. Here comes the pitch on the way, and that's going to get away. It'll allow road run, both runners to advance. The road runner. runner? I don't even know. It's just one of those days. It is. Just like that. Yeah. Can't help it. But. Again, here's an opportunity for Malvern to get a couple more runs on the board here and mind start shifting to making this a quick day. And that's what you got to do with a team that's 1-4-1, one, and one, not let them think they have any chance to do anything here this afternoon. Kind of got to step on their neck and keep going right now. 3 nothing is your score. Two on and two out in the second. It's a 1-1 one, one count on Young. Karaski out of the stretch. Looks back at the runner on second base, Beninsky, and now will fire home. Young waited for it, sends that second base side. Good move by Keller to get to it, throws over to first in time. And that'll end the Ram threat here in the second. Through two, it's 3 nothing now. Vernon, this is Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. How do the best continue to get better? Hi, this is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. We're no different than any team. When you're at the top of your game, the best wants to play for you. That's why, with the addition of our new shop foreman and the rest of our body shop crew, Landers now has a combined experience of over 70 years in dealing with the best parts and repair finishes on the market. This means when you walk into Landers, you can breathe a little easier knowing that your vehicle will receive the best quality repair by the best certified technicians within a reasonable amount of time. Again and again, we work directly with most insurance companies and have loaners and rental vehicles on site for your convenience. We're proud to not only be the standard, but to keep raising the bar in collision repair. Come meet the staff, take a tour of our facilities, and get to know the Landers crew that Landers Collision has so proudly acquired. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Give us a call when 888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. You're listening to Rams Baseball on AM 940 WMIX. Mount Vernon, Effingham, Terre Haute, and online at WMIXSports.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. And we welcome you back to Brennan Klein Memorial Field as we head to the top of the third inning. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski on WMIX. Ethan Sis, Chase McLaren, and Garrett Karaski. For the Redbirds, the West Frankfurt Redbirds trail the Rams 3 to nothing here as we head in this top half of the inning. Glad to have you with us. We'll get you a Tony Wilkes scoreboard update here in just a moment. As we check in with what we do have from around the area, I do know the Centralia and Salem softball updates have been coming in. We'll see what we can get from there and elsewhere. As the first pitch of the inning to Sisk is going to miss low, and it's 1-0. You give Trevor Foto a lot of credit. He's pitched a lot lately, and he's come out and been effective today. No runs on one hit thus far for Frankfurt. It's going to be a strike across the outside portion of the plate, 1-1 one one to Sisk. Kid Key has been around the plate. And that's the important thing. Like see the bats giving some more offense. And now the one one's going to miss just a touch outside. It'll be two balls and a strike to Sisk. As we had some defensive changes in the lineup to tell you about, of course, that we told you about a minute ago. But McLaren, of course, moved over to center as a center fielder. Karras came in the pitch. Dribbler down the third base side. Float a bare hand. Picks it up. Fires the first. Good play by Metter to bring it down. Yeah, good play by Floater to hop off that mound and get that ball near the third base line. And then Metter with the stretch. Tip the tail on first, stretched up in the air to get that throw. One out. Number in defense will have to be solid if team has aspirations of a conference and or know you've heard about season run. And the one coming is going to excuse me, the first pitch of the back coming. Little distraction. That means it's the top of the hour. 
Three nothing ball game here in the third inning for Brennan Klein Field with one out and the base is empty. As McLaren has a one zero count, now it's going to send this down left field line, and that is going to be a fair ball. Around first, McLaren headed for second. Reeves will get up and get it, fires it in, and that'll be a one out double for Chase now, McLaren. Seeing eye double off the left handed stick down there got over the head of the shortstop. And Clayton Reeves made a great effort down the left field line to try to make a play on that ball. Couldn't catch it, couldn't get up to it, bounced into a double. And probably, I'm thinking McLaren should have been standing on third base the way the coach is acting. Yeah, he missed a, missed a goal, green light. Just a golden opportunity. One out, a runner on second base. They're going to try to throw behind. That throw went to the right field side of the bag. The 80 foot time. Time. Yep. An effective more often. Scouting kind of reports good. out there. It'll start going around now. Hey, they like to do this. One out, a runner on second base. We're in the top of the third. Three nothing Rams on top of Frankfurt. Here comes the pitch on the way for Roski. Ooh, just off of the bat, they're not going to be able to get to this one. But a good play by Reeves off of the hop to pick it up and fire it in. And that will minimize the damage. Runners at the corners now with one out. A couple of seeing eye hits over there to the Bermuda Triangle in front of the left fielder behind the shortstop. Nobody can get. And now West Frankfurt in business here with first and third and one out in the third. Dying run now coming to the plate. Noah Drone, he lined out unassisted. Of course, the line out usually is. That was down to first base. It won't happen very often. A drone, a drone in this county. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, you might have just brought life to this broadcast, young man. Runners yeah. in the corners, one gone here in the third. Here comes the pitch on the way from Florida. Tax inside trying to jam drone. He fouls it off to the third base dugout. It's nothing to want. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, That's all it takes sometimes. A little humor. The WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, of course, driven by King City Chrysler Center. But most minivan time. Have some great incentives on minivans right now at Fort Square and King City Chrysler, especially King City Chrysler, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. It's an 0-2 count on Noah Drone. One gone, runners at the corners. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, chasing the high fastball, and there you go. Now there's two out. That's some good pitching by Trevor. That's not throwing, that's pitching. you got an 0-2 count, you got a guy that's antsy at the plate trying to drive runs in, and Trevor went high and away, and Drone chased him unsuccessfully. Two outs and steps in Braxton Cole, the catcher. He struck out his last time. That was looking back in the first for the second out. Right now there's two outs in the third, 3 nothing ball game, but runners in the corners and the tie and run at the plate. As the right-hander Cole will take ball one. At last check, the Centralia Annies with the Stable Money Wildcats after one, two to one. Try to get you some more updates from that and other games as we go through. The 1-0 pitch coming. In the dirt, 2 0. That scoreboard update was presented by Tony Wilton, State Farm Insurance, for all of your insurance and financial service needs. See Tony Wilton in his office. Find him online at tonywilton.com or look for the white State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state with State Farm. Runners at the corners, marginal leads. Here comes the pitch down the middle. It's going to be fouled off. Fouled off that pitch. It's going to be 2 1. Now, just as I say that, I get the update. It's 4 1, Centralia, midway through the third. Two and one, the count here on Braxton Cole. Runners at the corners, two outs. Rams hanging on to a three nothing lead. This one could be put into play. Pike's going to give chase and make a great grab. So there go the Redbirds here in the third. We're through two and a half, still three nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball prompt up to my exports. Do you farm or operate an agriculture based business? Then Community First Bank is for you. Hi, I'm Steve Down, Agribusiness Lending Officer at Community First Bank. With our roots firmly planted in Jefferson County, we offer the stability, strength, and personal attention that you deserve. Community First Bank wants to be your financial partner with customized products for both your personal and farm banking needs. Stop by any of our five convenient Jefferson County locations to see how we can help your business grow. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Member FDIC, Equal Housing. Startup businesses, when they come in the door, they're pretty green. Randy Atkinson, owner of Heartland Accounting, on why he is a small business expert. I have had businesses where I've talked to people in their garage and have grown it to work in three states. There's a lot of tremendous opportunity to help people from the very inception of their business, whether it's just talking about what does it take to become successful, what sorts of things do we need to stay legal. I feel very qualified to help people get to where they want to be. I've had that experience and have helped that situation become successful. Heartland Accounting, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B. Back to Rams Baseball, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back to Rams Baseball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com as we head to the bottom half of the third. It'll be the meat of the order due up with Colt Metter, Trevor Flota, and Jake Pike. 
Four, five, and six in the middle of the order here. Rams trying to add to this 3 nothing lead, and let's see. It looks like Karaski's still the pitcher here for the Redbirds, coming out for his first full inning of work as he came on in relief with one out in the second. Interestingly enough, three runs on what I have is five hits for the Rams. No runs on two hits and an error for the Frankfurt Redbirds. We're here courtesy of Committee First Bank of the Heartland. Steve Bria or Debbie Ashby in Mount Vernon for personal banking. Committee First Bank, welcome you back to personal banking. Member FDIC. You can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Of course, we're on Facebook as well. And you can find archive broadcasts at WMIXSports.com. This matter will get us started. You're in the Rams half, the third at home. We're back on the air tomorrow, we think, from Carbondale. 4.15 is your scheduled pregame. 4.30 your first pitch. Rams and the Terriers tomorrow, followed by Friday's action with the Belleville East Lancers. 3 0 in your score here. Here comes. Nope. Wind eventually, and here it'll come out of the wind up. Pitch on the way. It'll be a ground ball through the left side of the infield. There's a leadoff base hit for Metter. He's two for two. Unofficially. Colton, two for two with an RBI. Getting in there running for that player of the game award. Remember that. Phew. That will bring in Trevor Floto, looking to help out his own cause here. Has a runner on first and nobody out. In the bottom of the third inning, a 3 nothing ball game. So glad to have you with us, however you may be accessing us. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski at the first pitch. is going to catch the outside corner. Nothing to one to Floto. Going to have to defend the plate. No balls in the strike. Here comes Karaski's offering. That's going to be outside. Misses high this time, it would appear. And it's one ball, one strike to Floda with a runner on first base and nobody out here in the bottom of the third base inning. Here it comes. Waited for it, sent it just past the glove of the second baseman. Metter's going to have to hurry to get to second base. Can he beat the throw? Nope. Thought it was going to be in the glove of the second baseman. He can't make the play, and so that's going to end up being what? A 9, nine six. 6 fielder's choice. Metter throws on the line drive, just couldn't get the. Wheels going quick enough. Pretty good play by the right fielder on that. Nothing one like it was the ball just past the infield. He had to throw a cannon arm in there and did a good job. So runner on first and one out now for the Rams. As Pike steps in, it's going to be a dribble to second base. Tried to turn two, but tried to turn it before he had it, and Pike's going to be out at first on the 4-3. Well, inning started out promising, and now two quick outs. And he looked great first. Here's a guy that's due for a hit. Oh, his seventh spot. I see him. Love to see him gap one, just let his wheels do the work. So, with two outs and a runner on second, in steps Clayton Reeves. Blew out to left his last time up. Pitch on the way. It'll get through the five hole of the catcher into third base. We'll go Flota. And he thought about breaking for the plate. Yeah. But he'll stay he's fast, but I don't think he's that fast. That ball came back here by us, enough to incite panic in the Redbird section. 3 nothing. your score. We're here in the third, bottom half. Feathers are flying everywhere. They were ruffled. So it's a 1-0 count for Clayton Reeves, and he's a kid that's crazy enough to do something here. We'll see what happens on the 1-0. We mean that in the nicest way possible. 2-0 now to Clayton. So Floto will get a little bit of a lead off of third base. 2-0 pitches and route, and Reeves will foul this off first base side. There's a chance to get it, but no effort. Mm-hmm. No That's way. Good one. In a bad spot, nobody going to get it. First baseman made no attempt. Catcher couldn't find it. In that kind of spot, though, nobody's going to be able to catch that one except the coach if he wanted to. Two balls, one strike, two outs here in the second inning, third inning. So I know. 3 nothing ball game. Chris Hugo with Danny Jarwinski alongside. Say about one of our boosters, Sarah Staley, here in just a moment as we ready for the 3-1 pitch. Here it comes. And that's going to get away in the dirt. I had two one in the book. That's why I should have stuck with. Three balls, one strike with two outs here in the bottom half of the third inning. Rams trying to add to this 3 nothing lead with two outs. Here it comes. That is going to catch the outside corner. The count's now full to Reeves. So after, after, swinging, after swinging at the first yeah. pitch. His first at bat, he's been very patient. This at bat has worked the count full. 
Rasky getting sat out of the lineup, looking for the sign. Now he will wind. Fire is shortly to come. Inside out by Reeves. This could fall for a base hit if the shortstop can't catch up with it. But just as I say that, Joy makes a nice fly over there to make the grab. We are through three, still 3 nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball from WMIX Sports. Spring is here, and just about everyone wants to be more mobile. Stop by TMS Mobility, a division of the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, for all your mobility product needs. They carry a large selection of scooters, wheelchairs, and so much more. Best of all, you can rent them by the day, week, or month. The staff at TMS Mobility can take care of billing your insurance, too. TMS also carries a large selection of vehicle lifts for your scooter. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We service a 60-mile radius area. It's a pretty wide area. We service orders from several area hospitals. And we have the staff in place that really sets us apart. We have three respiratory therapists and two seating specialists to help with seating on wheelchair and power chair needs. And we just feel that we have the staff and the warehousing and the facilities in place to really set us apart from any of our competitors in the area. TMS Mobility, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Listen to us from any device at WMIXSports.com. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. And we're welcome back to Brennan Klein Field. We head to the top of the fourth inning for the Redbirds. We will see Hancock, Bartoni, and Anthony Dunning. We'll see a new Ram pitcher as the junior Tyler Morgan will check in. He inherits a 3 nothing lead, so three fine innings from Jeff, Trevor Flota of shutout ball. You can follow us on Twitter, at WMIX Sports, Facebook, and WMIXSports.com. Mr. Flota off to a good start. Three good innings so far. We give up three hits. So Morgan takes over. Here comes the first pitch of the inning, and that is going to miss low and away for ball one to Hancock. So 1-0 and is the count. Florida pitched three pretty good innings. And see Morgan pitched well the other day against East Peoria. Got in a little bit of trouble. Had a high pitch count, so he was removed. And then the Rams ended up losing 9-8. to eight. But that's what yeah. happens. they got to find out what they're made of. Got to find out. And, you know, you Darby had a high pitch count last night. Missed the perfect game. That happens. Look good, though. Wow. I know the Astros are fully throwing well. <laughs> that he was. 1-1 one, one is the count here on Hancock to lead it off. Gets the inside call on that pitch. Well placed. It's one ball, two strikes. Yeah, so, so you have to replace other teams with you know, the Astros. <laughs> you know, you can't say that anymore about anybody else. You know, because the Astros are now the new heir apparent to the pit. Here comes 1-2, and that is going to be on the shoulder. So a hit-by-pitch will... Then Hancock down to first to put a runner aboard for Bartoni. And you got to remember, Flota threw two innings on Friday against DuCoin, came back through six Saturday in the first game. That's a lot of pitching in less than a week's time. But, boy, credit to Senior. He did a heck of a job while he was out there. Of course, tomorrow is the day that anything could happen. Are you ready? When you meet with Sarah Stanley at Country Financial in Mount Vernon, you get a one-on-one relationship and a plan that meets your goals. Country Financial, what's your idea of financial security? Rams need some security here in the fourth. They lead it three to nothing with a runner on first. Nobody out. Swung on a miss by Bartoni. Struck out his last at bat. Falls behind nothing and one here. A little gas up high. Bartoni couldn't catch up of the belt. So it's an all one count here with one on and nobody out. Rams on top three to nothing if you're just joining us. We're about 13 minutes past the five o'clock. I'm about nine short of an hour into this game. This is going to be sent high. Down the left field line, well foul, should scoot out of play. Nope. Oh, no, well, Clayton Reeves is crazy enough to make that grab at the fence. He did a great job. He had a long way to run from left field. A lot of foul territory here in Mount Vernon. And Clayton Reeves did a great job. The first thing he did was get to the fence, touch the fence with his throwing hand that allowed him to figure out where he was on the field, reached up and made a nice catch before it hit the top of the fence for the out. And Morgan doing a good thing on the mound, waiting for Reeves to catch his breath and get back to position. 3 nothing score here in the fourth. One out, a runner on first base, in steps Dunning. Anthony will send a line drive off the ground. Just past the glove of Golden Better for a base hit, so that will advance the runner. First and second out on wow, a runner. Sneaky pitch there, took the outside pitch to the right side. Of course, with Metter holding runner on and Kaninsky playing for the double play, 
lot of room on that right side. You can see Dunning use that to his advantage. Softball scores point in from around the region. There is some baseball in action today, believe it or not. We're right here. It's three to nothing Rams. Uh, Waterloo leads all three two at the end of three. I'll baseball. take that. Two opponents of the Rams. Showing bunt is Keller, and he'll pull back. But took a strike, and it's nothing to one. Harry and one out. Leads Marion three nothing early in softball. You had all these. Well, I had two. I told okay. you on that on break. You didn't pay attention to me. You weren't paying attention to me earlier, so we're good. I have yes. no idea what that even means. No, obviously. <laughs> two on and one out. We don't have to be all... I just was paying attention. <laughs> Nothing to one I figured count. what I could uh, <laughs> give them to you or throw them out. <laughs> so, one one the count with two on and one out. We are here in the fourth inning, top half. It has some softball on this side, too, as I can remember who's playing who in this one particular text. We'll give you the update. One one. Here comes Morgan's offering. Good pitch. Could be an out pitch. Could be a ground ball. Could be two. Good job by Paninsky over to second for one. And they've got to get the throw home as the runners coming. And what happened there is you had the Rams with what I believe a four six trying to go four six three for the double play. Three not so much on realizing that there was a runner coming home. So look at the out at second base. Put a run across the plate for West Frank. You got a fielder's one. choice in E six that brought Metter off the bag with the throw. And then great base running there by Hancock. He goes all the way from second to home and doesn't stop running very easily for a kid or anybody at any level to quit running. He didn't. Frankfurt gets a run out of the deal. That'll bring an Ethan Sisk with a 3-1 deficit. He represents a tying run here in the top of the fourth inning with two outs and a runner on first base. First pitch to him is a ball. Scoreboard updates are presented by Tony Wilson, State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance and financial service needs, see Tony in Mount Vernon. Find him on worldwide at TonyWilson.com. We're looking at the White State Farm Jeep around town. High pop fly right side of the infield. Podinski's going to give chase. Win, play the factor, but Hayden will make the grab. And we are through three and a half. It's three to one Rams. This is Mountain Baseball from WMIX Sports. You'll notice right away that Second Chance Auto doesn't depend on fancy sales gimmicks. Instead, you'll only find honest deals with no credit checks and instant approval. Take your income tax rebate and use it on the great quality used vehicle you really want. Cars, trucks, minivans, along with small, mid-size, and full-size SUVs. Most priced under $10,000 with 3-month or 3,000-mile warranty. Family-owned for over 32 years. Serving the families in our region. Located on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Start up businesses and they come to the door, they're pretty green. Randy Atkinson, owner of Heartland Accounting, on why he is a small business expert. I have had businesses where I've talked to people in their garage and have grown it to work in three states. There's a lot of tremendous opportunity to help people from the very inception of their business, whether it's just talking about what does it take to become successful, what sorts of things do we need to stay legal. I feel very qualified to help people get to where they want to be. I've had that experience and have helped that situation become successful. Heartland Accounting, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. And we welcome you back to Rams Baseball, WMIX. A few by com as a warm-up toss got away. We head to the bottom half of the fourth inning. It'll be Harrison, Fedinsky, and Williams due up for the Rams as they did allow a run in that fourth inning, but that'll happen. Wasn't paying attention. Had a little mental fart there. Precisely right. The run is unearned, however. Yeah, because there was an error that allowed the run to score because if the throw the first was good, but they've been out of the inning. As was the case there, it was led to run runner from after hit the ball, get to first base. And again, credit the runner from second. He did not give up on the play from Frankfurt. Ran around all the way from second, scored a run, caught Mountain Vernon napping a little bit. Of course, those scores I was telling you about before he we went to break is that Wayne City leads Edwards County in softball six to three in the bottom of the fourth. Centralia leads Salem nine to one after three. Good night, taking the over in those games. Yeah, that's an option. Wow. 3-1 score here as the Rams are on top, and Harrison's going to take a first pitch strike on the outside corner. The, they got the black mats out? They might. They could very well. So Karaski comes out for another inning in relief, and the 1-0 pitch is wild. It's 2-0. We'll track that one for him. Now, Paninsky will help him find it. There you go. There you go. Got him. Work's completed. That's a 1-1 count here on Sawyer okay. Harris. We're here to help people in our new position. We can see things maybe they can't. Well, we might be seeing a little better than we want to on a foul ball. 1-1 one, one coming. This is going to be a high pop fly. When somewhat a factor here. As the center fielder, McLaren, will make the grab. There's one of pop-up center fields going nowhere. You just 
running out. And outfielders today, just can of corn out there in the wind. Of course, with five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service for all of your accounts, Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. 3-1 ball game here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As Paninski gets settled in. With Matthew Williams on deck, here comes the first pitch. Didn't see the call. It'll be a ball. 1-0. We'll have more scores throughout the rest of the broadcast for you. Got our system in place. And the 1-0 coming. This is outside. Two balls, no strikes to Paninski. Florida went three. Wild three hits. No runs. I believe three walks through. No, three strikeouts. Completely a lot of walk at all when he was in. Just wrote that in the wrong column. Had it backwards. 2-0 is going to catch. Just low edge of the zone. It's two balls and a strike down to Podensky. With one out, nobody on. In the bottom half of the fourth inning with the Rams still leading. 3-1. to one. Raski out of the windup. In the foul territory on the first base side. Good effort there by... Christian Dunning, and he can't come up with it, so it'll be a strike. Two balls, two strikes now to Penelope. He catches the break there. Has to sure out. Hits the ground to get another break, another swing here. Let's try this. I scooted up. I scooted up. I scooted up. I'm going to relax a little bit. Stick the feet up here on the backstop, on the bricks, and just kind of sit back and enjoy. You, sir, know what you are doing. The table is used as a cover from the wind on the lower half of the body. Outstanding. It's a 2-2 two, two screw tie. It's a full count out of Penske. And I think I'm in a good mood again. It's like sitting in the recliner. Not bad. Today just got a lot better. Full count. One out. Nobody on here in the bottom of the fourth. And it's a 3-1 ball game. Three runs on six hits for the Rams as Karaski gets settled. Here comes. Penske chases after the high pitch. Tomahawks that one high into the air on the left side of the infield. And the third baseman Ooh. able to hang on after it almost got away. Good play by Well, Hicks. the problem with infield pop-ups, and the thing that infielders have to remember, especially on a windy day, you cannot go stationary. If you stand still, you take the risk of dropping the ball or having a play like that where you have to get on the ground. You have to keep your feet moving at all times on a day like today on pop flies. So two outs now for Matthew Williams as we see the top of the order for a third time today. He's one for one. At an RBI's last time up. It's three to one now, and he'll take a first pitch, and he'll take it high for ball one. Red Lake College offers over 100 degree and certificate programs for thousands less. Log on to rlc.edu to see which program is right for you. That pitch wasn't the right one, unfortunately, as it's going to be fouled back to the backstop. And it's one ball, one strike. Frankfurt will take care of it. No problem, LP. Yeah. I just read the mic. Yes. Mark, marked off. There we go. Mm-hmm. So we wait the 1-1 one, one to Williams. Here it comes. It's going to come inside. But a very generous strike zone. Makes it 1-2 and two and a good one. Consistent. Big, consistent. That's all we ask. That's all we ask at this level. Of course, a true consummate professional behind the plate today. Oh, Pitch yeah. Out. He's consummate. Pitch on the way. It's going to be in the dirt. I have two and two. I also have two and two. Hey, we're doing something. I'm yes. doing something right, finally, I should say. Two and two. I also have Yoda. There you go. Both oh, needs to look Yoda Easter basket, by the way, as the 2-2 two, two comes. Little furry Yoda. It's going to bounce around in the dirt, and it counts full. The wind again, picking up. So two outs, the base is empty in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Rams taking on to a 3-1 Ron Lee. Easy for me to say. Frozen lips will do that. Ron Reed, right, right wing. Let's see That's what it does. Full count. Let's see what Williams can do here with it. He'll... Let's say take ball four high, but that'll be a backward strikeout, and we will head to the fifth through four. It's three to one. <laughs> this is Mount for the Baseball from WIX Sports. America is a nation on wheels. Everyone has at least one automobile. We use them for shopping, work, everything we do. But they can be a threat. Some accidents can't be prevented. Your professional Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon, can help protect you from a large financial loss when an accident happens. Call Page Insurance today at 242-7000 about low-cost auto insurance from Pekin Insurance. Ask them about the many money-saving discounts that are available. Depend on your hometown professionals. Pekin Insurance. I'm Kevin Snyder with a look at your next red weather. For the afternoon, it will be sunny to partly cloudy, high of 54, then becoming mostly cloudy tonight, low 33. 
A rather cloudy day tomorrow, so rain not far to the south, high of 53, and a low tomorrow night of 33, then a warmer day Friday, turning out mostly sunny, high 63, sunshine and clouds for Saturday, high 68. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. You're listening to Rams Baseball, powered by Community First Bank. Rams Baseball, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. As we head to the top of the fifth inning, 9 1 and 2 do up for the Redbirds. They trail 3 to 1. We're back on the air tomorrow, 4 15 to pregame as the Rams travel to Carbondale to battle with the Terriers in South 7 Conference play. Of course, to remind you that you can get your credit approved over the phone at Second Chance Auto without even leaving home. Just pick up the phone at L244 4582. Cars, trucks, SUVs, vans. The largest selection of pre owned vehicles in one location is at Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. So I'm McLaren to get it started for the Redbirds here. Morgan out for another inning of this pitching by committee for the Rams and fires a first pitch strike. I'll say this Mount Vernon may be a little in between games, between conference games. I would agree. Kind of foggy headed today. The 0 1 coming. The 0 1 take it away. That's nothing to do. Good pitch by Tyler Morgan. You know, it's going to be effective. I wholeheartedly agree. It's just kind of, we're out, they're out here, three to one, they're winning. Okay, great. You know what I mean? Precisely. As the O two is in the dirt, one ball, two strikes. Not a lot of zip. I figured out my problem. Like, as far as your, I have an eat today. That's your fault. That explains a lot. I had some nice sandwich and Doritos. Nice. Which kind? One, two in the dirt. For regular cheesy Doritos. Really? Hot dog day. Ugh. Yeah, you're not a fan you of can't them. do hot dogs. That's cool. Just can't do it. So the 2-2, with nobody on and nobody out, McLaren gets started, doubled his last time. Well, poke one right at Matthew Williams, the soft liners. You're up, out number one. However, tomorrow is Sloppy Joe Day. Really? You do Sloppy Joe's? Sloppy Joe's. Nice. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, well, I had Sloppy Joe's. Oh, yeah. I don't remember ever having Sloppy Joe's. I remember the rectangular pizza, Yeah, which I loved. I remember the, the rectangular pizza, though, angry. that you and I grew up on is not the same anymore. Really? A little bit more cardboardish. Soy pepperoni now? Pretty well. I got you. And that'll bring another Soy liberty. Everything. Karaski will take the first pitch low and away, and it's 1-0. Oh. Yes. Pizza day was always my favorite. Those little cube pepperonis on top yeah. of the rectangular pizza. Actually, now it's circle pepperonis on top of the rectangular yeah. pizza. Can't do that. That was the best part of it. No, I'm just telling you what's going I on. I feel you. The 1-0 coming right down the middle. That's going to be fouled off. The count becomes one ball, one strike. Got to have some beans in there somewhere, usually. Or vegetable. Now they got, you know, like cauliflower or broccoli with cheese and things like that. We always used to get, get like, the frozen fruit juice. Well, V8 is from the leftover commodity, at least in my world. The 1-1, one, one, where's it going? That's going to be right down the middle. and Fouled off down the third base side. Out of play over the dugout. 1-2. I remember that. What else was there that was delectable? Love the peanut butter sandwiches with the, with the great Oh, you chili. know what? We have peanut butter balls today. Really? Yeah, we'll roll it. We'll have to make them a little... Yeah, white sugar on top. Oh, good stuff. Huh. Eat those. Yeah, I've gained weight just by looking at them. One, two, coming. Ooh, tomahawk. We down to the second base for Vanetsky. He'll pick it up out of the glove. Fire to first base. There's your second out on the four three. Mister Morgan, I'm very impressed. Scrappy. He he handles himself out on the mound, mature beyond his years for a pitcher. The back to I'll let you call his pitch. As Jerome will step in. I get his name on this time. First yeah. time I forgot. Yeah, it's hard to find you. Um, not loud. Oh, and one. Right. Taco salad day has become one of my favorites. Really? We sure. never had that. Oh, one it. coming inside. Well, swing. well, they have hard shell off. tacos, but the educators have an option of making a taco salad quite delectable. Anyway, that's about food. It's going to be that No, time. it's not. It is that time, but I mean, it's never too much about food. Oh, two coming. With two outs, the base is empty, and that's going to miss high. One ball, two strikes. What is that? A week from tonight? What? We get to dig in somebody's pocket? Down at Marion? What is today? Wednesday? Yes, yeah. it is. Here uh-huh. come. Curveball. Well placed pitch. It was in the dirt. Young will fire to first for good measure, and so your strike out and throw down the first. We'll end it here at the top of the fifth. Three, four and a half, three, one, Rams. This is Top of Baseball from WYX Sports. Hi, I'm Bria Ashby with Community First Bank. 
It's always my goal to make the transition to Community First Bank as easy as possible for our customers. Our handy switch kit helps in doing just that. Whether it's direct deposit, auto transfers, or online banking, I'm here to help. Come see me at our 42nd Street location to open your account today and let me remind you how banking should be. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. It's back. Red Lake College Golf Outlet's Super Demo Day on Saturday, April 6th. Major manufacturers reps will be on hand to answer any questions about your favorite equipment. Plus, free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag. Come test the latest and greatest equipment and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks at Super Demo Day. One day only, Saturday, April 6th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Find us on Facebook under WMIX Sports. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to Red and Klein Memorial Field. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Do up Thomas Young Metter for the Rams, who lead 3-1. to one. Community First Bank is the official voice of the Rams. Your community, your choice, your bank. With five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs, Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Oh, man, growl, growl, growl. It is not, like I said off the air, it's 50 degrees in name because it is definitely not feeling like 50, not 50 degrees, degrees that by really reputation. Mile an hour wind, yeah. Oh, and, of course, the wind blowing right in our face, this does not help the situation. It probably makes it a little bit more chillier than what it is. So Landon Thomas will stand in. The lefty will get it started again. Young and better to follow. Landon's actually one of two today. Joe Spot trying to get his way on. Third base was back deep. Spot is fouled on the third base slide. It's nothing. One had the right idea. Good idea. Bat too flat. Angled the wrong way. Do it again. Nothing to one. Your count. Thomas will get it started. So obviously nobody on and nobody out just yet. Karowski back out for yet another inning. Here comes the pitch. Thomas <laughs> swing as Thomas chases. This is a foul over the batting cage. Got it right for once. Nothing to two. Usually a word that escapes me for some reason. How about Sarah Staley and Country Financial? What you don't know or understand about your existing policies can end up hurting you and your family. Develop a plan to meet your goals with your Country Financial representative in Mount Vernon, Sarah Staley. Pitch on the way, and that's going to miss low to Thomas. A good eye. It's one and two. So we'll see what happens. Top of the fifth inning, three to one, Mount Vernon on top. Lefty bat here against the righty pitcher. Thomas is going to wait for this one. Send that deep in the center. McLaren's going to have to retreat. That's going to be extra bases for Thomas. He's around first, headed for second, and that'll be a leadoff double. Right. Nice start. Of course, he drove that one in the center. Speaking of which, WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. See their selection online at FordSquare.com. I'll bring in Colin Young with an RBI chance. over for 2 today. But a chance to bring this runner home and make the lone West Frankfurt run. At least have an answer for it if he can get the base hit. Pitch on the way from Karaski is going to be off speed. And swung on a miss. It's nothing to want to Young with Metter on deck. Colton, on the other hand, 2 of 2 today. At least according to our scoring method. Karaski gets out of the stretch. The right hander is going to turn and throw back to second base, safely returning to Slanted Thomas. Just some more scores in just a little bit, probably in the next half inning or so as we work to corral some more, or if this inning goes on for a while. Nothing in one count. Here comes the pitch to Young. He'll take outside, and that's one ball and one strike. Now Vernon is kind of sleepwalking through this one so far. Dugout's not a lot of pop either. Ooh. Next one misses low and away, and it's going to be 2-1 to Young. You get better on deck, low to follow, should the inning get that far. You have a runner on second base, and Landon Thomas, who went off of the double in the deep left center field, and here comes the 2-1 pitch. Young gets a piece of it, since the opposite way, it'll advance the runner. Picked up by Dunning. He'll step on the bag and three unassisted. Your first out, but it gets the runner Thomas to third base. The Rams a run opportunity. Gold Metter will stand in. Some chatter from Albert and Dugout. It's just 
non-conference game in between two conference games is hard to get up for. Amen to that. Runner on third base is one out here in the bottom half of the inning. We're in the fifth. Pitcher gets set. It's going to miss high, and it's going to be 1-0 and to Colton. Get an RBI single back in the first. That probably would have been the game-winning run, but that run in the fourth by Frankfurt. Austin that side. Okorowski gets set. Here it comes. Metter waits for it since it's a short. Well, that Thomas is going to go ahead and go. They're going to go to first base on the out. Wow. Now Vernon got a break. Third baseman had Thomas dead to right on the ground ball. Woo! Wow. Well, that, that was scores a, anyway, though. It's the run across. It's four to watch. Trevor Flutter will stand in with the bases empty and two out. Colton metter has got two RBIs, two singles. Front runner for that player of the game award. Yes, he is. Speaking of which, Red Lake College, save thousands in your college education. Log on to rlc.edu to find out how. Two outs, nobody on. Fifth inning, or excuse me. Forgot that Morgan came in. My apologies. Mm-hmm. Morgan will step in for his first at bat. And is behind nothing in one. Pitcher v. Pitcher here. The 0 1 pitch out of the windup for Karaski. Morgan's going to give a whack. Foul it off, and it's nothing to do. Job of defending the plate, though. Mm-hmm. No balls, two strikes, or two outs, and empty bases in the bottom of the fifth inning as the Rams play to run, make it four to one. Four runs on eight hits unofficially for the Rams. Seven hits. Come back or right up the middle, but the second baseman good back up there by Keller throws across the body and makes the play. Four three retires. Oh, they say he pulled him off the bag. Okay, I didn't see that. I would say they're going to have to ask for some help here. They uh, will see what the that this will be interesting. It pull him off. Oh my. So the Rams get a, a break and this inning mm-hmm. will uh continue on the air. And little argument, not much from the West Frankfurt coach. Courtesy runner, and guess who? Tyler Ellis. So Ellis will run for Morgan. And that'll bring in Jake Pike. The inning stays alive here in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. And a runner on first base for the Rams, who have a 4-1 to one lead. So a bit of a break here. Well, the Rams can capitalize. Second error of the day on the birds. Ooh. They're a little angry now, though, too. Uh, I see what you did. Ooh. Meeting First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of the Rams. We'll say more about them throughout this one. Bottom of the fifth, runner going. Here comes the pitch. Pike's going to foul it off over the third base dugout, and it is nothing at once. Popular place over there for foul balls today down that third base line. I thought it station somebody over there. Uh, Brock's going to go get it. He's supposed to be working for us right now. Yeah, allegedly. Our other person's supposed to be working for us, too. Yep. Avery Barton, of course, is back at our mouth for studio. Man of many hats and talents. Nothing on the count. Right down the middle. Pike gets a piece of it. Slams this one to left center on the run as McLaren can't make the diving grab. They're going to wave Ellis around, try to bring him in to score as Pike goes into second base. They're not going to throw home wisely, and that'll be an RBI double for Jake Pike, who continues with the masterful bat. Another one. That's two for three day for him. Five on Mount Vernon. Good base running by Tyler Ellis. Kept right on going. I think center fielder got dead legged and got running out there, and you run so long looking up that your feet kind of get tired, and you kind of bounce on your back of your feet instead of on your toes, and slows you down and makes you miss the baseball. That'll bring in Clayton Reese with runner going. Show his butt. Not going to matter because Pike's safe. Yeah, if you can see Pike feel that on the pitch or he didn't look at him. And that was a smart play by Clayton Reese. Took the pitch and then because he knew Pike basically had that base going. Nice job of not hitting there that time by Clayton Reeves. 0-1-0 to Reeves with two outs. I don't think he's going to steal home like that, though. Well, I don't think it is. He had much to worry about over that third base. Nobody covering, nobody holding them. 1 0. Let's see. There it is. It's going to catch the outside. And it's going to be one ball, one strike. No, it's not. I thought he motioned up. My apologies. So I saw the hand go up. 2 0 coming. Give me a ground ball to third. Good pickup by Sisk and Reeves. Looks like he might have beaten it out anyway, but either way, he's safe. I'll give him a hit. Why not? We're going to say we like the kid. Because RBI. Because the fact is that I think he outran it before the ball even hit the feet of the first It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be bang, bang, regardless. But either way, it did. It 
would have been an out even if he had been beat because he dropped the ball. Yep. But that will bring in Sawyer Harrison. The inning stays alive. It's now 6-1 to one Rams I don't think after scoring three in inning. I don't think Blake stayed long at first. No. Please. Two outs, runner on. Sawyer Harrison. Reeves is going, as we told you. Comes inside for a strike, and Reeves goes down to second. Mm-hmm. Oh, hum. Clayton's not hanging there either very long. If he's got an opportunity to second, he may go to third quickly, too. He might as well get some running in. Oh, one. Reeves will take a bit of a crow hop off. Of, not really a crow hop, but a bit of a side hop off the of second base. And it's nothing in two to Sawyer Harrison. Two outs to the bottom of the fifth inning. 6-1 ball game. Rams in West Frankfurt. Reeves is going now, though. Harrison gets a piece of this, and Reeves is going to have to go back as it goes foul behind us. Nothing to do. Yeah. Of course, you hear West Frankfurt coach in the background pleading with his pitcher. He might want to take a look at a base runner or two for they just let steal you blind. We'll do that, too. You give it to them. They're going to take it. Nothing to two. The count, two gone. Harrison, the RBI chance with the runner on second. at a 6-1 Ram lead. Pitch on the way. He's going to turn on this one, and that's going to be off the glove of the jumping third baseman, Sisk. Reeves is going to be waved around to score. They're going to wait and see what they do with the throw. Good base running by Story Harrison as well. And it's 7-1. Yeah, Mount Vernon's starting to get to Karofsky a little bit. A lot better swings right now. Now to bring up Hayden Paniski. Oh, for today. Is that a sack fly in the second? For some reason, I think he's back. I don't remember. That's at eight. That's some scribbles. So they're going to have a meeting at the mound. This break in the action is presented by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Eric Black and his staff at the Medicine Shop. Proud to offer top-notch customer care. We'll see if there's going to be a pitching change here. Does not appear to be, as we will see Hayden Paninski come out of the on-deck circle with two outs, seven to one. Your score. Rams have played at four in the bottom half of this fifth inning. This is a we got to get our heads up, guys. It's just going to get ugly if we don't get it together here. Meeting of the minds. You're tired of big corporate banking. You have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home, and Nick signed up with Lawn and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Glad to have you. Heron over Marion after four in softball. St. Anthony up 3-2 after two against South Central in baseball. Main City leads Edwards County, bottom of 6 9 to 3 in softball. And at last check, in the middle of the fifth, the Annie's led Salem. That's Centralia. I'm just reading it verbatim. Centralia leads Salem 9 to 1 in softball through 4.5. So a runner on here. That scoreboard update powered by Tony. We'll tell you more about him in a second. Two outs. Fedinski steps in. He'll take a pitch outside. So outside corner, make that. Nothing to want. I sent out a text with our scores. The runners going. They're going to throw down to second. Not going to matter. It's going to be off the mark. Safe and second is Sawyer Harrison with the stolen base. Mount Vernon sniffing a short one here. If they can get four more, it's going to take a lot, though, with two outs to get that done. Softball practice going on across the way. And they're going to check on the runner at second base. Soccer practice was going on. It's now over. Here on the middle of the week. Oh, hump day. Rams on top, 7-1 in the bottom of the fifth inning with two outs and a 1-1 count on number one, Hayden Panetsky. That's Sawyer Harrison with the lead off of second. Karadzki gets set out of the stretch, eyes the runner, looks back again. Here comes the 1-1. Panetsky waits on it, sends it foul. 1-2. Right through the road, whereby pulls out a lot. No harm there. Tony Welcher, State Farm agent here in Mount Vernon. Find him around town in his white State Farm Jeep and get to a better state. Of course, he's online at TonyWilt.com as well. We wait the one-two to Hayden. Here it comes. This is foul behind us and really having a good at bat. Staying alive. Out of baseball. Nope. Umpire looked around and thought we were out of baseball. Of course, All Stars and Stitches is one of our Rams boosters. If you can put a logo on it, they can probably print it. See All Stars and Stitches just west of Benton High School. Or call 435-5555. As stepping off the rubber was Karaski to check on the runner. Of course, All Stars does banners, plaques, signs, trophies, awards. Also 
to apparel. One to the council vehicle wrap, Stephen. Rasky looks back at the runner, Harrison, will fire home, and this is going to be Tomahawk. Oh, off in the third base, and Paninski has some speed. Everybody's going to be safe. That plane going hard. Yeah. I mean, that was right off his chest. We hope he's okay. Yeah. He'll be careful of that thing. They're going to check him out. It knocked him back. Hit him in the hand, it looks like a little bit too. So it's the finals to try and Salem. It's softball action. It's Detroit beat Salem 11 to 1. That was a final at 6. Oof. Top the order. Rams will have batted around once Matthew Williams gets this at that end. They've scored four here in the fifth. It's a 7 to 1 ball game presented by Community First Bank in the Heartland. Have, they have waved off the trainer. Our service is not necessary. Always reliable. And we'll get back to the action in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside WMIX and WMIXSports.com. As we are an hour and 23 minutes into this one, thereabouts. The runner's going to be going. It's a pitch inside. It's a 1-0 mm-hmm. count here to Williams. Now Vernon is being a lot more aggressive today on the bases, trying to get in this one. Winning run is on deck, so there are two outs. Pitch on the way. Going to miss high to Williams. Two balls, no strikes. Second chance auto has your largest selection of pre owned prices at 10000 in one location. And this is going to be a wild pitch. The run is going to come to score Harrison, and it will be 8-1. to one. Of course, we told you about second chance. Largest selection of pre-owned vehicles under in one location. Also proud supporters of the Mount Vernon Rams for many years. See them on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon, one of our Rams boosters. Day one ball game now in the fifth. Runners advance, so third base is Hayden Penetsky. Represents the ninth run. Game over run on deck as Matthew Williams has a 3-0 count. Pitch on the way. Williams is going to take up inside. Not a good idea there. It's a 3-1 count on the obligatory call. Two outs and a runner on third base here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. It's 8-1 Mount Vernon. Pitch on the way, Karaski. That's going to sail high, well over the head behind the back, and that'll be a base on balls with two outs. Puts runners at the corners now for Landon Thomas. And I've got just about all my stuff in, so if you want to You good to go? Yeah. Okay. He can, he can take care of it here. All right. As far as I'm concerned. I just sat back and listened to that mesmerizing read because I knew what you were up to. Never know, Get man. Get your job done. You never know. Oh, I know you know you got to get it done. And if you don't know, you don't know, you know. Uh oh. Uh oh. The runner Williams is going, and that, my friend, I think is our old friend, the Force Ball Club. Oh, it doesn't work. Kidding. Me. As the runner cannot get back to third base. So we are through five. It's 8 to 1 Rams. This is Mount Vernon Baseball from WMIX Sports. State Farm, this is Jessica. Hey, Jessica, Jerry Newman. Does State Farm offer more discounts to more drivers? Yep, like the good driver discount. So it's for good, but not great drivers. No, Jerry. There's also the multi-line discount. For calling from multiple lines while driving. You should never use a phone while driving. I only make calls from my car when I'm stuck in a ditch or something. Are you in a ditch? Yes, I am. State Farm offers more discounts to more drivers than any other insurance company. Get to a better state. One more reason to call State Farm Agent Tony Wilton Mount Vernon at 242-1421. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois proudly welcomes Dr. Brian Steinke to their medical staff. Dr. Steinke earned his medical degree at the University of Illinois in Chicago and has degrees in anatomy and physiology from UC Berkeley, and he brings prestigious credentials to the center. Dr. Steinke is a gifted physician and contributor to orthopedic textbooks. Call 618-242-3778 or visit their informative website at orthocenter-si.com. Back to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. To the top of the six we go. The Rams score five in the bottom half of the fifth inning to take an 8-1 lead for the Redbirds. It'll be Cole, Hancock, and Bartoni facing the Malford and pitcher, Tyler Morgan, who's back out for another inning. This will be his third inning of work. Mr. Morgan has looked very well today on the mound, as did Trevor Floda once again. Now Mount Vernon going to the sixth up 8-1. See if the Redbirds can rattle some bats here to get themselves back in the game. Floater went three, does not allow a run. Morgan, of course, on the relief, and since then it's been 
a pretty good outing. 8-1, Rams on top as we head to this sixth inning. Wild pitch to start. Got to come get it. Got to come get it. Oh. Can't make him do it. That's not no, fair. No, that's not fair. What the kids are for. Yep. 1-0 count on Cole. Gets it started here in the top of the sixth inning. WMIX and WMIXSports.com. We'll be back and better tomorrow. From Carbondale, 415, your pregame. The 1-0 pitch coming. That's going to be a rope. Ooh. In the right center field for a base hit. So there you go, Frankfurt. There's a start. To get back into it. That's their fifth hit of the day. One run, five hits for the Redbirds as we go through the middle part of the over for the third time of the day. This will be Hancock. He was actually plunked his last time and then came around to score a little bit later on. That's the lone run for the Redbirds. That came back in the fourth. Here in the sixth, it's eight to one. Rams on top. Morgan out of the stretch. Looks spears over his shoulder. Mitch on the way, and this is going to be a foul ball behind us. Was it near our friend? Gosh, I'm telling you what, our friend could not have parked any closer without getting hit by that one. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. That had that had a trunk yeah, window looking all over, but the ball dived short. Nothing in one to count. One on and nobody on the six. Here comes the pitch on the way. Ooh, whiffs. That was a good pitch by Morgan. Had a little wrinkle on it. Nothing in two. Like trying to catch an echo. <laughs> oh, my. Nothing in two with one on. They're going to check on the runner first. He's back. Although it was a good pickoff move. Let's see. Watch took care of all that earlier. Yeah, you're done. Now we can talk baseball. Yep, for the most part. Nothing to the count. Here comes the pitch on the way. Ooh, good swing by Hancock. Since it fouled down the third baseline, I could tell you one more time. The WMAX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square, literally and figuratively. 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. With the best never rest, you can count on them. See their inventory at FordSquare.com. Runner on first, nobody out. 0 2 count on the batter, Hancock. Morgan gets set. Young, that's up. And here comes the 0 2 pitch. In the dirt, it's 1 and 2. Up here, that I don't know why I'm holding that. It's not giving me any heat. This. Oh. One to the count here on the batter. Hunter Hancock. You'll get underneath this. It's into left field, but that's going to go quite the distance. It's Reeves. Mm-hmm. We'll make a nice grab on the run. The Frankfurt runner, not sure if he caught it or not. Williams is going to gun and throw down the first base and throw it away. And so now, probably a wise move to stay put because yep. I think Mr. Cole is out of breath. Well, that was nobody case. Well, that was the case of all this spacious outfield here. Brennan Klein made for the out because if that's at Frankfurt, it's gone on the JV field. A case of hit the ball hard at the wrong field. One on and one out. That brings in Jacob Bartoni. He was over two today. He struck out and flat out to left. Where Clayton Reach has done a magnificent job showing the real estate out there. Clayton covered a good pitch. Hold on. Clayton's covered some ground out there today. Like a realtor, he's been everywhere. <laughs> Nothing and one to count on Bartoni. Again, flew out to left, back to the fourth. Has a runner on and one out in the top of the sixth. Eight one is your Ram lead. Morgan's pitch is going to be in the dirt, and it's one and one. But make no mistake, Tyler Morgan and the opportunities in which we have seen him this year has been one effective yep. pitcher. He's a guy you can throw out there, and he's going to get you quality innings. That's important. 1-1 one, one the count here. The runner with a marginal lead off of first. That's Cole. Here comes the pitch on the way. Ooh, thought I heard the strike call. Maybe. I heard low. Oh, low. Okay. Low. Two and one. A low. One and two. Two and one. Fix that. Two balls and a strike to Bartoni. Runner on first. Rams would love to get the double play ball. Double play depth with the first baseman better holding the runner. It's going to be a ground ball just past the pitcher. Williams will pick it up and fire over to first. It's on. Good play by Williams wow. after a partial screen by Morgan. Regardless of what you think it may be, yeah. what it actually was. Ground ball out. It's more Redbirds up to the play here. Mr. Dunning back up. I'll bring in Anthony Dunning, who has singled today. He flew out to ride his first time up. He's one for two. We'll have a runner on second base, so it's an RBI chance with two outs here in the top half of the sixth inning. Rams will send up two, three, and four, just like they did an inning ago. They ended up batting around. First pitch strike to Dunning. It was a low strike, nothing to want. Going to 
eat well tonight. I don't know what I'm having. I need to have something. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, who knows? Yeah, I hear Richard you. Morgan looks back, fires. Ooh, a check swing. Was that nope. a low? Low. 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 Didn't go. Low. He did not swing from my position here, as agreed upon by the umpire. They asked me first. What do you say? Somebody's just going to point. It'll probably be wide, or somebody just point back and ask you. Ah, I will. I will give him an answer. 1-1, one, one, Kevin. That is right. Across the plate. That's good. Oh, yeah. one two. So two outs in the top of the sixth inning. One on for Frankfurt. It's on second base. I believe that to be the catcher, Cole, who let off with a single. He advanced from the ground ball out, 6-3. We wait the 1-2 pitch. Will it be the out pitch Tyler Morgan looks for? Yes, it is. That's going to be a backward strikeout. Beautiful pitch for Morgan. And that sets down Frankfurt here in the six. We are through five and a half. It's eight to one Rams. This is now for the baseball powered by Beauty First Bank. Southern Illinois now has a better home for sports. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Jam-packed with local scores, video highlights, and archives of every local sports broadcast on WMIX. Did your team win? Miss that game-winning shot last night? Didn't catch your favorite coach on the Saturday sports show? WMIXSports.com is right at your fingertips. On your computer, your smartphone, your tablet, or your video game console. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Another free service from Withers Broadcasting. With two new hospitals, trusted physicians, and dedicated staff, it's clear that our local healthcare industry is helping to make our community stronger every day. Hi, I'm Terry Prosize, a commercial lender and healthcare banking specialist at Community First Bank. I'm putting over 20 years of healthcare and business experience to work for our medical community and local businesses. Whether you have an expanding physician practice, an existing business, or hoping to start a new business, I have the financial prescription for you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dixonite. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Back to the Rams on WMIX. Welcome back to Rams Baseball. Home half of the sixth we go. Mount Vernon on top, 8-1. to one. Chris Chico with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Behind the plate now is your former pitcher, Garrett Karaski, taking over on the top of the Cole, whose first name I forgot to write so down. So Karaski has been center pitcher mound catcher. The only other spot he's got left coming this way is the bleachers. Yeah. Straight line. Karaski threw a bunch of pitches. Two points. Oh, he oh threw God. a bunch of pitches from the second, third, fourth, and fifth innings. And now he's going to throw more because he's got to throw one back every time the pitcher <laughs> throws one. Very intriguing. So he's got to do what you got to do, you do. Frankfurt's been banged up a little bit, a little bug going around, and, and they're not at 100% heading into this one. Of course, with the conference game tomorrow, you got to be careful because you've got to save at least one or two pitches for tomorrow. As Karaski went three and two thirds for the Redbirds. And that brings in the new pitcher, Braxton Cole, start off as your catcher today. For the Rams, however, in this happening, we will see Landon Thomas, Colin Young, and Colton Better. Rams baseball, as always, is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember FDIC and, of course, Equal Housing Lender. Mm-hmm. Those who are keeping score at home, FDIC, of course, is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. As Cole will get a few more warm-up pitches. Quinn McClure will go take his spot in the first base coach's box. Drop an extra ball off for the umpire. How kind. Yeah. And we'll get back to the action momentarily. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. WIX, Mount Vernon, a brief service from Withers Broadcasting. We near the top at 6 o'clock hour. We are now legal. Not as if we were illegal before. So Landon Thomas to left, you'll get his first look. He'll be the guinea pig against Braxton Cole. Catcher for most of the day. Now takes over a pitcher. He'll just flip flop to Karaski. The rest of the defense for the Redbirds appears to be the same. Is it a Sisk drone, a Keller, Dunning from third to first? Cole now your pitcher, Karaski behind the plate. That was Christian Dunning at first. Anthony Dunning out left, McLaren and Hancock left to right in the outfield. So the center fielder Landon Thomas. Having a pretty good day at the plate. Scored a couple of times, and we'll take the first pitch he sees and fouled off first base side. It's out. Not sound like it felt good up that. He didn't act like it felt good either. A little shimmying of the hand. Yeah. Trying to shrug off a little bit of pain. Just like that. Up the bat. No balls. One strike here for LT. We bottom of the six inning. Eight one Ram lead. Pitch on the way. He'll take high. One ball, one strike. Uh, 
silly day here at Brennan Clyde Memorial Field. We're mm-hmm. in Carbondale tomorrow. Rams will, allegedly, the Rams will battle the Terriers. Have a look at the weather forecast. Uh, it looks better. I think we'll have a game tomorrow. But we will head down. They'll eat. They'll eat. I plan that meal for tomorrow now. Oh, yeah. Now we know where we'll probably end up. 2 1 the count. Bases are empty yeah. here for Lance Thomas. Actually, we don't. As he will send one, this could be trouble. This could be just fouled down the left field line. And it's 2 and 2 to Thomas. Let it go. Somebody go get that. Brock Fulkerson on the dead sprint down the left field line. Get that foul ball. They have to wait for him to clear for they can throw again. No, they're going to wait. He's so far down there. They have to mail. He's a stamp. <laughs> two two is the count. Nobody on. Nobody out. Thomas, of course, leading us off. Ooh, and that's going to miss high. Full count. Now yeah, Brock's already back. His length of strides is about. Seven feet. Or everybody else says three. He's already back to the dugout. Didn't take long. I think he flew halfway down there. Halfway he back. might have. Well, Cal, let's see what happens here on the bat. Ooh, that's going to miss a low to Thomas. Good eye there, and he'll take his pace. Here at the bottom of the six, it's eight to one, Mount Vernon against Frankfurt. And we're going to have a little bit of a break in the action. The catcher will go out to talk to his pitcher, go over signs and whatnot, I suppose. But yeah, we'll let me tell you the break in the action is presented by the Medicine Shop at 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Well, There's a few people still here. Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday night, middle of the week, cold and windy. People are people are here, not like they have been in the last couple of weeks. Getaway day for the Rams, going to Carbondale tomorrow. Back at home on Friday. And what a w- wicked travel schedule they have as they will host the Belleville East Lancers. That was good Friday a year ago. Yeah, I remember that trip well. We had some seafood uh, on the way. Seafood there, that was good stuff. Can't wait to go back to Belleville this year. This time it'll be West. Actually, we have Althoff in there, too. Yeah. Or I, I guess. Something. Who knows? Um, high and tight to young, it's one of them. You never know by the time you get that time of year what I do. That's the thing. Either way, there's a Chick fil A stop in there somewhere. Oh, West is a nice little facility. I like West. One out coming. And Young gets a piece of this and sends it in the left. Dunning will give chase, and that's going to hit the wall. Wow, what a hit by Young. That'll bring Thomas around to score. There probably won't be a throw in time as Young will end up with an RBI double. Colin uh, go. put a spanking on that one. I mean, to hit the ball as far and as long as he did into that wind and to go there, that was amazing. It'll be a courtesy runner, and it's not who you think it is. Oh, it'll be Zach Giants. Yeah, Tyler Ellis might have retired. Well, it has to. Always so much courtesy running. He can only be so courteous, you know, at some point. Here's Mr. Matter, who's two out of three today. He's had a great day to play. Drove in a couple runs. That's just a pretty good little day. Not a bad day. It has a runner in scoring position, so an RBI chance for the Rams lead 9-1. He'll take a pitch outside. Ooh, that's dangerous. So it was. Where you want to oh, catch I that? Hmm. Thing they need to take care of. Nothing. <laughs> oh, the count. I don't even want to know. It's going to come well, in time. It's it's nothing to do. Uh, depending on the compensation, it will involve you oh, and my. others, you know, this week. 29th annual. Oh, yes. Nothing oh, yeah. to do. Matters. Oh, I'll this one off the watch out of Karaski. Lucky you didn't know where he's at right now. Familiar your faces. Could be a different place. Next Community First Bank continues to expand. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Face might not be familiar after that. Mm-hmm. So, no balls. Two strikes with nobody out and a runner on here in the sixth. That's going to be a frozen rope right up the middle. Could score a runner. They're going to wave Giants into score. Here comes. The throw is actually going to be a good one, but it's going to be cut off, and Matter's going to be out at second base. So there's one out, but there's a run across the plate, and it is 10-1. to 1. Single and an RBI, and not good base running, but it still works out. Oh, that man thought he had the right idea. Yeah, they cut the play off. you got to be more patient, more observant on the 13th hit. Mount Vernon now with 10 runs, 13 hits. A lot of crooked numbers up there, two, a one, a two, a five, and a two. Scoreboard updates today have been brought to you by Tony Wilt State Farm Insurance. It's Centralia beat Salem and softball 11 1. As the first pitch to Morgan catches the outside corner. Alton leads Waterloo 8 3 at the end of five. That's the baseball score. Baseball. Softball score again as we're going back and forth. Wayne City beats Edwards County 9 5. Oh. Tell you why that is important to me in just a moment. Maybe you, I don't know. 
as it's going to miss high on the 0-1 to Morgan. It's one ball, one strike. We will head. WMIX is we. WMIX Sports will head to Edwards County on Monday for Lady Rams softball. 4-15 scheduled to be your pregame. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. That was Wayne City winning, correct? Yes, sir. 1-1 one, one the count. Ooh, outside. Two balls and a strike to Tyler Morgan. I believe he reached on an error last time. That's what allowed the big inning to continue or start. 10-1 score here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Rams could theoretically still get it done and end this one in the sixth. Is this going to be a fouled off of the 2-1 over the first base dugout? Now 2-2. Two two. Over there by Juan. I've seen Juan lately. I've been in I haven't seen my buddy Juan all year. So, I went to Juan. I talked to Juan the other day. I haven't been a chance to talk it to him. It wasn't the, for the faint of heart. Well, sometimes he just doesn't understand. He's got to get that figured out. 2-2 two is the count. One gone. Bases are empty in the sixth. Pitches on the way to Morgan look good, but it's going to miss outside. Full count. Well, it's not the smell of victory around Juan the other day. Yeah. Watch out for Juan. You don't know what his extracurriculars consist of. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Our Latin buddy. Full count. <laughs> One gone. You're in the bottom of the six. Pitch on the way. Morgan's going to stay alive. Actually, no, this is going to. I thought it was going to straighten out there, but it's going to be off the right field fence foul. Made the full count three and two. Let's see. The Rams are at Carbondale tomorrow. They host Beville East Friday. Tuesday, they have Mascuda at home. Wednesday, they had the Rent Wand to play Frankfurt. Thursday, it's against Cahokia at home. Next Friday, as your guess is a good find, they're off. They're off Friday because Lady Rams have modern day for a double dip. Then on Saturday, have a double header against St. Anthony. So that's pretty well takes you through next week all via memory. Full count offering is going to be low. That'll be a one out walk. Well, that's the game ending run there at first base. So it'll be a courtesy runner. You guessed it. Tyler Ellis sends the ball game to run. Hey, look at there. What? Tyler Ellis. Oh, no. He's been hurting a little bit lately. Hoping I could see him maybe throw tomorrow at Carbondale. I don't know. I can't believe I just ran down the schedule through next week without looking. No. That never happens. I did not see I, I, I'm not saying you did. I, no, I'm just saying. Proud of myself. Runner on first. Sure. Swung and a miss. Jake Pike stands in. He's had a pretty good day, as always. Two of three. Looking to make it three of four. Those are some of the details about Jake Pike. Ram right fielder. Didn't start the first game. It came in a pitch hit capacity. I don't think he's ever left the lineup since. Well, the runner on first and one out. Pike is going to get a piece of it, but I don't see it. Looks like it's the right side of the infield. Nope, it's the left. Shortstop gave me a clue as he runs and gets it. Mm-hmm. Two away. Rams are a run away from ending this one right now. That's a long way away. Yeah. Hey, it's Clayton Reeves. Reeves had a decent day defensively. He had an RBI single and stole stole bases last time. Later came around to score. Two outs and the runner on first in the bottom of the six. It's ten to one Mount Vernon pitched on the way. Runners oh, going. Wow. Ellis. Looks like he's going to beat the throw, and he does. Takes out the shortstop, too. Not a bad day at the office. Uh, West Frankfurt can't ill afford any more injuries. They've been nicked up, and, man, can't afford. That's a spike job is what that is. Our friends are playing catch over to our left. Are they really? Yeah. They've been playing catch for a while. Keeps them out of trouble. Well, for right now. (laughs) A little one cracks me up. I can't. Oh, I know it. What is the count? He's going to be bouncing the hallways. I'm at for a few years, and it's going to be interesting. Breaking the action presented by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Eric Black and the staff pride themselves on top customer care. So, as they tend to the perception of an injury, everything appears to be okay. Good news. I say that I can't find them. Can't see because of the umpire, Pedro. One out the count, two gone. Another one. Hey, what do you got? Uh, after four in high school softball, Cobden 11, Woodlawn 5. So that means that Cobden's on top. Cobden's been kind of up and down this year in softball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one out oh, the count for Clayton Reeves. Runner the- on second. Still swing and miss. That's going to get away, and Ellis, you guessed, it's going to take third. So the Rams have... So it was a funny tweet. Yeah, it's a it's a darn good one. I'll let you partake as Ellis goes in the third. On the <laughs> yeah, that's classic. 
Yeah, First of all, that guy tweeted is magnificent in itself. Well, that's big when it comes out from him. I think that's like all three. Of course, you can follow us on the Twitterverse at WMIX Sports. Allegedly. Oh, it's no two count. My apologies. Pitch on the way with two outs going to come inside. Good eye by Clayton with the game, game ending run, I guess you could call it, on third it base. 10 1 score here in the sixth. Rams at home on the road tomorrow. We bob and weave the maps of Southern Illinois in the baseball season. Rand McNally. Here comes. Walk it on, and Reeves is going to send that to left, and that could do it. Back will retreat the left fielder, and it won't matter because Clayton, or excuse me, Clayton Reeves has ended it for the Rams. Yes, we should be more excited, but it's hard with being frozen. As Ellis will come across the plate to end it at 11 and 1, we'll come back to your numbers in your Schmidt Triple A postgame show. This is Rams Baseball from WIX Sports. Welcome back to Personal Banking is more than our tagline at Community First Bank. It's the truth. From our five locations in Jefferson County, the debit cards tied to local schools that we offer, the dozens of scholarships we provide to local youth, and even our president who sits at the front door. The Community First Bank difference is apparent. Our mission as Jefferson County's premier community bank is to provide the best customer service around. Stop by one of our five locations and experience true personal banking. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Zero, zip, zilch, nada. The goose egg is by far my favorite number when it comes to financing. And now, 0% financing is back by popular demand. Hi, Roy Schmidt Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler Center in Mount Vernon. That's right, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for up to 84 months through Ally Financial on the 2013 Chrysler 200 Touring and Limited Model. And that's not all. You'll even get $1,000 in customer cash. The Motor City has reclaimed its name with the 2013 Chrysler 200, from the -the state-of-the-art engine to its rank as an IIHS top safety pick. You'll love everything it has to offer. Come see one of our associates about 0% financing plus $1,000 customer cash at King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or see our inventory online at kingcitychrysler.com. And find us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Elaine. I've been a nurse with Good Samaritan for many, many years. One of the best things about my job is knowing that I work for a hospital that cares so much about the community. We're dedicated to attracting the best physicians and investing in the most advanced medical technologies. Whether it's radiology, oncology, or advanced heart care, we provide some of the nation's most advanced treatment options right here in Southern Illinois. That way patients never have to travel far from their families to receive the care they need. I'm always happy when families come visit. And starting in 2013, that sort of thing will happen even more. That's when Good Samaritan opens our all-new regional health center. Everything about the new center has been designed with patients in mind. It features all private rooms and family-friendly areas that make it easier for visitors to stay overnight. I can't wait to see what Good Samaritan does with this exciting new facility. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. Southern Illinois now has a better home for sports. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Jam-packed with local scores, video highlights, and archives of every local sports broadcast on WMIX. Did your team win? Miss that game-winning shot last night? Didn't catch your favorite coach on the Saturday sports show? WMIXSports.com is right at your fingertips. On your computer, your smartphone, your tablet, or your video game console. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Another free service from Withers Broadcasting. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX. The Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show starts now. Show Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside on WMIX and WMIX. Rams win in walk-off fashion in the sixth, 11-1. Clayton Rays, of course, is a deep single. In the left field, coming around to score was Tyler Ellis and the Rams pick up an 11-1 victory over the West Frankfurt Redbirds. 10-4 and on the air. Frankfurt falls to 1-5-1. and I believe you have a Heartland Accounting final numbers. West Frankfurt, one run, five hits, two errors, four left on base. Mount Vernon had 11 runs, 14 hits, one error, six left on base. Trevor Flo to the winner. Christian Dunning, the loser, in a game that took one hour and 48 minutes. Mount Vernon goes 10-4 and four on the year with an 11-1 victory over West Frankfurt. South Southern Conference Showdown tomorrow. Before we can get to that, we need to get you a Red Lake College Player of the Game on your Schmidt Triple A postgame show. We'll take a break, come back with that, and wrap it up. This is Rance Baseball, powered by Community First Bank. 
I'm meteorologist Dave Powers with a look at your next rad weather. Becoming mostly cloudy tonight, a low of 31. And then for tomorrow, clouds and some sunshine with a high 54. Mainly clear and cold tomorrow night, low 32. Friday, plenty of sunshine with a warmer afternoon, a high 62. And on Saturday, clouds, some sun, breezy and warmer, a high of 68. Now look for a Sunday, mostly cloudy with a little more than a shower, high 62. Next round weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. It's back. Rem Lake College Golf Outlet's Super Demo Day on Saturday, April 6th. Major manufacturers reps will be on hand to answer any questions about your favorite equipment. Plus, free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag. Come test the latest and greatest equipment and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks at Super Demo Day. One day only, Saturday, April 6th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Rem Lake College Golf Outlet off Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Listen to us from any device at WMIXSports.com. This is Rams Baseball on WMIX. WMIX. WMIXSports.com. A little bit of a delayed pause there. I guess all pauses are technically delayed. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski alongside. We're going to college player of the game. Colton Metter. He was three for four today, drove in three runs, did a good job. Got Basically, the game was on the line, did a good job getting Mount Vernon out in the front early on in this ballgame. Absolutely. And, of course, Red Lake College can save you thousands in your college education. Log on to rlc.edu to find out how. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski, of course. Rams win this one 11-1 to one at six innings. It was a walk-off loud single from Clayton Reeves. It ended up playing going off of the left field wall. And coming around the score was Tyler Ellis to end it. They win 11-1. to Of course, they're 10-4 now in the year. They'll put their South Seven Conference mark on the line tomorrow at Carbondale. We hope you'll join us for that broadcast. 4-15 is your pregame. 4-30 will be your first pitch. You're on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. That's going to do it for us today. For Danny Zerwinski, for Avery Bart, back to the Mount Vernon studio. For everyone at WMIX Sports, thank you for listening to Rams Baseball, powered by Community First Bank. I'm Chris Shugo, reminding you the final for one final time. The Mount Vernon Rams 11, the West Frankfurt Redbirds 1. So long from the King City. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX and online at WMIXSports.com. Rams Baseball has been presented by the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams, Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Mount Vernon Rams on WMIX are also sponsored in part by Ren Lake College. See how you can save thousands on your education at rlc.edu. The Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. State Farm Insurance Agent, Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto, Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, Raising the Bar, Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Sarah Staley, your country financial agent, Heartland Accounting, and by Central Christian Church. Your home for news, talk, sports, and America's best music, WMIX. Find archived broadcasts of Rams baseball at WMIXSports.com.